What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another Friday live edition of ADHD Whiskey, where I start really loud and then start to trail off into my normal whisper, as we just did. How is everybody doing out there? How in the heck are y'all doing? What is going on, everybody? Whoa, there goes my amateur. Man, am I an amateur sometimes with, with technology. Gary Franchi, MGP skirmish. He was in the house early. What's going on, Gary? A $2 super chat from Dave Rose. Four minutes before I even started, which was actually six. Thank you, Dave. He says, Bell Mead is life. Welcome in Tom Lawrence, Josh Randall, Santa Loves Bourbon, Kilco, Jeff Meager, Dave Markowski, Tom Lawrence, Gary Howvey, Wendy Miller. Hi, Wendy. JJ, Kevin Campbell, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Dale Kelly, Daniel Kerber, the Kerbster, the Curb, the Kerber, the Cannon himself, Andrew Buchanan. How's it going, Andrew? Adam Dorman. Happy Friday, everyone. Starting this MGP scrimmage off with some Bell Mead Cask Strength Reserve, 110.4 proof of greatness of a whiskey. It's a good, it's a good thing. So good. Bev Porter's in the house. Hey, Mom. How are you? Love you. Miss you. Can't wait to see you. So soon. So stinking soon. Andrew Zelina, Cheech Artelino, what's going on, Cheech? Sugar Kitty says meow. Friggin' typical cat. Gary Street, Papa Brutus, Brian Anderson, hey everybody. Fire Daniel Kerber's ass. Should, didn't read that one in my head first. Whatever Daniel Kerber did, someone out to get you. Jeff Perkins, old man Joe. Oh man, just. Stanley Wagner Jr. is in the house. Derek is here. Just Derek. Andrew Zelina. I already said Andrew Zelina. You owe me now because I said your name twice. Adam Shelton. Roy R. Does Things. Cameron Backo. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for just being here. John T. Josh Pence. Dale Kelly. Robotic. Awesomeness. Skip into the bottom. If I missed your name, I'll get it later. I promise. If I break that promise, <sighs> then what are we even doing together? Dan L's in the house. What's going on, D Dan L? Dan, we're only, only hours away now. Only hours away. If Julie is in here, there she is. Julie says, Matster, what's up, Julester? Julester, the Julestress herself. <sighs> it's Friday. It is the third Friday after we began a journey of sorts, a bit of a weight loss journey. That includes myself, an entire Facebook group, and the one and the only Butterman himself. He's so hot. Hot buttery rolls. Everybody welcome in Chris for a weight loss update. Hey, Chris, how's it going? What's up, man? How are you, buddy? I'm so good. I'm pretty good. I'm so good. good. How are you? Dude, I'm, uh, I'm a lot better this week. I'm stuck good. to my diet and... Uh, Kicked some ass. I did some planks. I did some push-ups. So feeling better. Feeling better. I'm sorry. You can do push-ups? Uh, yeah, I did 15. <laughs> in a row? In a row. In a row. It was on a dare from uh, from a good friend of mine. And uh, I was literally thought I tore both pectorals. <laughs> was it the deer that Trev Wilson killed? Oh, on a dare. Yeah. I see. Yeah. On a dare. Did you, Were you on your knees or on your, on your toes? On my toes, I did them. Uh, I did them big girl style. Uh, just, I'm not gonna. He can already do 15 push-ups in a row. No, we're done. We're done here. He's kicked out for cheating. He's cheating, and he's either cheating or lying. I, I'll tell you what. I actually have the video. I'll send you the video of me doing the push-ups. Uh, we. I would like to get the United States Anti-Doping Agency to head to Texas. <laughs> Because I would like a little year and sample from you, Mr. 15 push-ups in a row. Oh, man. Well, I, I may have eaten some horse tranquilizers after oh, doing geez. them because you of the pain. So Good grief. <laughs> I didn't. I have not. I, the thought of doing a push-up terrifies me. But, yeah. Geez. So you did You did 15 push-ups in a row. I did. Um, that's incredible. And how I. Your your diet was on, it was in check it was on point. 
Yeah, man. Um, I've been uh, I've been working with um, My Fitness Pal, which is an app that I'm not uh, paid by, but endorsing for sure. Absolutely. Um, for the people that are involved in the weight loss competition that want to track their calories and their intake, it's the best app that I've found for free. Um, yep. And, uh, and I've been watching what I eat and counting what I eat. And uh, yeah, today I couldn't find my sweet potato fries at lunch in the app. So I threw them away. I set them back to the trash. So well, it's, kind of, uh, it's definitely hard accountability. And it was very, very hard to turn down the sweet potato fries. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I've been using I've used my fitness pal for, geez, um, like since like 2007. Yeah. That's a real thing? No, 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 no. No, it's not true. It was like two. It was after that. But but I put I put weights in that I knew weights because I tracked my weights with Excel before. Yeah. Like I went back and put weight in from like before I started using my Fitness Pal. So like that way I have like a kind of like a weight my how fat I've been for like the last thirteen years, and yeah. it's a roller coaster. Holy crap, dude! Mine is all peaks and valleys. It's insane. Um, I've been using it for since I think 11, since 2011. Mm -hmm. And I have a scale that is integrated. Um, it's a weight guru scale. And so it actually automatically uploads it to my fitness pal. And right. even whenever I wasn't tracking calories in my fitness pal, it was still tattling on me. So I have like the whole, the whole curve. <laughs> oh, it's got that, uh, that buh, 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 wow, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's out of control. Technology, man. Yeah, technology, technology is there to tell on you. If they're okay, this is if Elon Musk is listening. What I would like, this is my dream, my dream um, invention, and he could do it, right? For sure. You just look at something, or take a picture of something, or or like put it on a oh, put it on a plate or in a glass, and it just tells you how many calories are on that plate or in that glass. It's like, and just, it breaks, it's like some sort of supercomputer mechanism with like laser beams and some sort of like solar vortex, El Nino thing. And it just like calculates it. And it's like, there's 300 calories in this piece of lasagna. And you're like, thank you, Elon Musk. For that. That's what I, I think. Like. We're, I think we're less than 10 years away from that, for sure. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be crazy? Either that or the earth's going to get stuck into the sun. I don't, either way, it'll be over. We won't have to worry about it anymore. A lot of, a lot of trying to lose weight is, honestly like you know what i can't eat that because i don't know what the hell that is yeah because like i didn't make it and somebody else made it so i don't know what the hell's in there it could be like this it could be like a tiny little ball of 600 calories but that technology would solve it um and that's I, exactly I think, right man i think we could do it i think we could do it too, if we put our heads together so anyway um let's get down to it Starting weight for the week for you was? For the week for me? Oh, yeah. man. I don't remember what it was for the week. Hold on. Let me find that photo. So this week I'm at 291.2. Well, that's – you did the – you you ruined – like the – you would be – like, oh, man. Let's see here. And then on – let's see. This was – last Friday I was 299.6. So well, it's 8.5 8. pounds. Son of a mother. You're, losing, yeah. you're dropping fast. Well, I, I'm i telling you, man, I, I really screwed up by getting a slow start, uh, taking the week of New Year's off. But um, I redoubled my efforts this week. So you killed I was, I was very, 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 very mindful of calories. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm so hungry. I'm just kidding. I actually ate a really nice lunch. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's eight over eight pounds. That's incredible. Over eight pounds this week, and I'm down total 15.4. Congratulations or something. Thanks, man. That's high five. I love it. So <laughs> um I start last Friday. I weighed after losing a pound the week before. Um I started my week at 308 and this morning 302.6, so 5.4 pounds, which I, can, I mean, I can do better. I, can, I know I can do better. It's like it's like really getting into the rhythm of things. But the the tricky part for me now is we're about to go on vacation. We're headed we're headed south to Florida, where I'm hoping all they have to eat is like grapefruit and oranges. 
<laughs> I'll just well, off. Florida, I mean, you're going to be right there by the freaking Gulf or the ocean. Uh, seafood, as long as you don't bathe it in butter, is really pretty healthy. Yeah, that's that's a solid point. But unfortunately, people like me can find we we like smell unhealthy food. I'm yeah, like, dude. it's like, what does Florida got for? Oh, there's a Chick Fil A. I'll take seven Chick Fil A's <laughs> and all the sauce. Why would I have crab if I could have crab cake? It's called cake. It's got cake in the name. So who doesn't love cake? So so far, you you are winning this competition, my friend. You are winning, and. Did I pretty, pretty handily, even with my uh, setback of New Year's? I would, I think so. Yeah, I think okay. this week made up for it. Um, the first week you lost more than me. Last week you were fine, I, and I only lost a pound last week. So, so far you're winning, but you're not. You're not the only winning loser, losing winner, one of the whatever. <laughs> in, our face, in our Facebook group, the winner this week, having lost, and everybody, thanks for joining, and thanks for being accountable with us, but this week, losing two, just over 2% of the body weight, Steve Szymanski, Steve Szymanski lost, started at 257, dropped down to 252, so he lost five pounds, that's a crazy, awesome, so congratulations, Steve, um, I think that there is a gentleman who has a prize pack for you this week, and if not, then we'll put something together ourselves, but um, yeah, if you're not a member of the Facebook group and you want to be, then just search for HBR versus ADHD Whiskey Weight Loss Challenge and get in the group. Let's do it. Let's get healthier together. For sure. Yeah. Congratulations, Steve. That's a great loss, Steve. Congrats. Absolutely. Congrats, everybody. Everybody who's everybody who's even thought about everyone who's joined that group and it's just like, let's let's do it. Even if you struggle or have problems or didn't do as well as you hoped, just stick with it. We're gonna do it together. We have we have our whole lives ahead of us, they say. Absolutely. If you worked on yourself this week, you won. It doesn't matter what the scale says. Absolutely. Well, HBR, I have some weight loss to do. I okay. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat this week. <laughs> Don't I'll do see. that, man. Don't put your I'll body in starvation. That. As soon as I get off this, I'm probably gonna eat like pizza. I don't know. Please. Don't do that either. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. I call that defeating with a he- capital E A T. Anytime I have a loss, like I'm a I'm a stress eater and a sad eater. And dude, I will kill some carbs when I'm in a when I'm having a bad day. Oh jeez. Absolutely. All right. We have we have 245 people in here. If you're not subscribed to Hot Buttery Rolls, you better be. Hot Buttery oh. Rolls has a YouTube channel. He just hit a thousand subscribers. He needs to get monetized. So go watch HBR. He live streams. It's a lot of fun. He loves MGP. You can tell over his right shoulder that he is full of MGP and an unopened Weller CYPB. That's all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I um, felt left out. Trev had his out on his stream. And I was like, I got one of those. I'm going to go put mine out there. Nice. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm doing an MGP. I didn't know if Trev was doing an MGP flight. That's what I'm doing tonight. Okay. And I, okay. Last week I did a gigantic flight. This week, also gigantic. So hopefully not slammered. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully handle handle it well. But um, we'll see. Chris, thank you for doing this with me. Thanks for jumping on every Friday. I love you. So happy that together we are getting healthier and one day, people will look at us and be like, are you two the super hot twins that I've never even thought of before? And we'll be like, we're just brothers. But yeah, we're hot as hell. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in right. 100%. I love you. We'll see you next week. We'll chat. We'll, oh, I got to step up my game. Goodbye, 8.2 pounds or whatever the hell your name is this week. <laughs> Later, good. buddy. Thanks for having me on. See ya. Oh, look at him. Look at him just losing all the weight. I thought I had a decent week. I thought five, 5.4 pounds would be good, but no. How buttery rolls is like no buttery rolls. How about no rolls at all? And pretty soon he'll have no rolls at this rate. Oh, congrats to him. Good job. So, okay. Sorry I've not been reading chat. Terribly sorry. 238 in here. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out, being being a part of this tonight. We're about to get to it. All right. I think I missed a super chat. Tom Lawrence, $5.94 super chat. You guys are doing great. Stay on it. We will. And thank you so much. 
Dan L. says, I hear the place you are staying just stocked up with little Debbies and cookies. Well, son of a bee. I'm not eating it. I can't eat it. I can't do it. I have to, I have to stick with it. If I don't stick with this weight loss thing, then I will just be ginormous forever. And I can't. I can't. I'm so tired of being tired walking upstairs and trying to put on socks. It's impossible. Okay, I don't think I missed anything else. Any other super chats? If I did, I'm super sorry, but they're not showing up over here. Okay, okay. Scott Moody says, nice haircut. Thank you. I was, I do this, and then it just grows into Dexter in the forest, like in the final episode of Dexter, and then I cut it off, and then I redo it again, all over again, over and over and over. Friday at Fred's with Doug. Says, no breakfast, no lunch, nice dinner, lost 65 pounds. Hell yeah, that's one way to do it, that intermittent fasting stuff. Nah, nah, I don't know if I could do it or not. I don't know. Maybe worth a shot. Maybe worth a shot. Okay, everybody, we have some news. We have some whiskey to drink. And we have a competition to, to do here. We've got nine different MGP bourbons. And... I'm tasting through them because I want to find out how, how much this stuff varies. Is there a crazy variance or is it all very similar? And I think I already know the answer. That's why I was confident enough to pour nine because I'm pretty sure that maybe half of these, maybe slightly less than half, I don't know, I'm going to be able to taste and push them aside and say that's not a winner. And that's my hope. Hopefully I don't have to taste through all of these multiple times to determine which ones are better. Hopefully... I can taste these and be like, that's that's not good. This is really good. And then kind of piece them apart from there. <sighs> we'll see. I don't, that might be a terrible idea. We'll find out though. Hit the like button, y'all, says Steve Sismansky. This week's biggest loser, Steve. Congrats, buddy. Thrasher says, looking forward to the Speedos pick from oh, Florida. Heck yeah. I... Packed seven. Actually, I haven't packed. I need to pack. I'm going to pack tomorrow. Baked kale will be my snack, says Dan L. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. We have some... Okay, let's get to... Jeez. Where do I want to start here? Oh, yeah. I want to start with showing you guys this guy. Look at this. It's a world's top whiskey taster. Matt zipped hoodie. Heck yeah. And it fits. It's so nice. I like it a lot. This is the first shirt that I've gotten from Teespring. Um, other than Klein's shirt. That's been really comfortable. I like this. I like the zipped hoodie a lot. And if you would like one of your one of your own, they're on my Teespring. Along with new Bring Me to shirts. I thought if there, if someone's going to bring you to Pappy, they might as well bring you to Weller and bring you to Blanton's and bring you to BTAC and bring you to Allocated Bourbon. So there's more there's more bring me to shirts on there too, in case anybody was anybody had a, someone in their family who loved Blanton's or some shit. I don't know, you know, whatever. Amy Boom, love you, Matt. You and Hot Buttery HBB Hop are the best. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Amy. That's awesome. I'm just so happy that we're both doing it and we didn't give up. We didn't give up yet. And we still won't. JG says, you're looking sharp. The universe's greatest whiskey taster. I promoted you. Oh, awesome. I'm excited about that. Super excited about that. Because if there was a better bourbon taster outside of Earth, <sighs> cheaters. I don't look thinner. It's just my haircut. It's literally just my haircut. And I shaved my beard down. Shaved it down. So that's why I look thinner. That's all. Okay, scrolling down, scrolling down. Sorry. Sorry, catching up. SG Fly High, $5 super chat. I forgot to do my weigh-in this week. I'll do it tomorrow. You're doing great. Do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. And heck yeah, keep her going. I should have been drinking water out of these the entire time. Look at that. Look at that glass. It's like it came with, a, I got four of these with a crystal decanter, and it's like super heavy, and that makes me feel super fancy drinking water out of it. Super excited. 
that I realized that I should have been doing that, and then I did it. Just nailed it. Okay. Oh, Dusty Dan. Matt, you're able to pick out an MGP profile on non-finished bourbon? Are you able to pick out an MGP profile on non-finished bourbon? I th I'd like to think so. Um, I don't know. I'm getting better at it. Buffalo Trace kind of gets a little bit e easy. Like I can, I can pick out Buffalo Trace sometimes. I can pick out Jack Daniels, um, MGP. I feel like I'm getting much better at, but it's not all the time. Uh, I get a lot of red licorice on MGP, like a spicy red licorice, and if I pick that up, then usually I'm right. But sometimes it is, it's not there for me. But I feel like I'm getting better. I feel like I'm getting better at it. All right. Next thing on the agenda, remind me, don't, okay. I got big news. I have big news, but we're going to get to the big news in a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want to like just give the big news right away. You know what I mean? Because like that, then it'd be like, oh, well, there's the big news. I got big news, big, big news. And we'll just remind me, don't let me, don't let me forget tonight. Stanley Wagner Jr., Nice upgrade on the cranium. Thank you. You easily look six to seven days younger. Heck yeah. That's what I was aiming for. Once I get so so much hair and beard going, I start to feel kind of yucky. So I have always feel much better after a good, good haircut. Jeff Meager, I'm going to my local whiskey warehouse with my stimulus check. You're welcome, economy. Heck yeah. They didn't, they didn't send us ours. They didn't. They got our got our first one. Got our first one, and then when they check to see this one, it, it's all like it says that they can't, we can't we we don't know. They're like no, I can't remember what the the thing said, but it basically said you're we don't we don't have that for you, and you you're either uneligible or oh we don't have enough information or some shit. I'm like you gave me my first one, give me my second one, and they're like no. Not, no, not you. <sighs> Damn it. Too much information, I know. But you just reminded me of it, Jeff. Why'd you have to bring it up? Way to bring up a sore subject. Tom Lawrence, hydrating tonight. Congrats for remembering the water. I remembered the water. I remember that. And then I got a empty Bardstown Discovery 2 filled with H2O. America. Oh, that's good. But extra water. Extra water. Um, Stephen Camper, can you sign my bottle? Your bottle of what? Oh, boy. Stephen Camper. That was... Was that the Eagle Rare? Because if so... She gone. She got... She boxed up and gone. Doug H, love your channel. Go, Matt. You can do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. John Nissen, Ice Bank myself. Love the content, bro. Okay. Thank you. I don't know what that meant. Pretty sure. All right. We have... Oh, shoot. Jeez. What the heck am I doing with my life? I didn't even tell you guys about the giveaway. Um, Trev Wilson's kind enough. He said that he was going to keep track of Super Chats tonight. And last week, I'll, I'll read these in a second, but last week, I I made it very clear. The giveaways, I love doing them, but it's really hard to track people down sometimes, especially people who win that like aren't regulars or aren't familiar with it. So I made it, for the last couple of weeks, I've been trying to say, listen, if you win, you need to get, let me know. Because I'm not going to hold on to stuff forever and then have someone come like months down the road and be like, Hey, do you got that thing? And I'm like, yeah, I've been holding it for you for it. So what you have one week. You, you had to email me within a week and be like, hey, Matt, I won. This is what I won. And this is how you get it to me. This is where we hand deliver it to. After a week, it's free game again. So tonight I am re-putting up a bottle that somebody won over a month ago. And either never finished the stream, never came back to watch it, and hey, a little it gives you a little bit of what's what's it called? Um, 
if you're if you enter, at least come back and see who won. Because you might have won, but this person didn't do it. So tonight we are doing the Michter's toaster barrel again. It's right here. It's right here. It's it's ready to go. It's it's ready to go. It's in a box and nobody claimed it. The person didn't claim it. So we're doing we're doing it again tonight. It's the Mictors Barrel Strength Toasted Barrel Rye that I've been waiting for an address for over a month. Didn't get it. So more power to you guys. Sad though, because you know I don't want to be I don't want to be like that guy, but still, maybe they didn't want it. Sorry, Dan. I'm getting back to your comment now. I'm not sure about how good your short-term memory is, and you didn't say when to remind you. So hey, okay, geez, why didn't I read that first? Thanks, Dan. Well, Henderson Fellowship Jet, don't forget the big news. All right. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling down. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up while I scroll down to the bottom here. Scrolling down. Hey, Nick Lovin, thank you for, for becoming a member. Appreciate that out of you. Yeah, there's some big news. Dave Ross. Dave, were you were you the winner of the toasted barrel? Where did you send me a message at? Hmm. All right. Hold up then. Let's wait. Dave, is that you that won the bottle? Because I just, I honestly did not see a message at all. That was you. Daniel, $5 super chat. Um, so hold up on those super chats for the bottle until I have a bottle, so don't pick me, but it's worth understanding. Sorry, Daniel, it might be spoken for. Dave, how did you how did you contact me? Via which method? That's all I need to know. Email. All right. I'll check for it. <clears throat> Now I feel bad because we, not bad. Never mind. All right. I'll do something else then. Hold on. Just looking for it. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hmm, weird. I don't have a, I don't think I. I'll have to look later. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Never mind on the, on that. We, I'll do, I'll do something else. I think it's something else. So I'm sorry that you guys already super chatted. I will, I'll think I'll, we'll get you, I'll figure this out. Shut that banner off. I'm an idiot. Super big idiot. But no, I, I just searched my email for, for an email from you, Dave, and I don't, there's nothing there. So I don't know if weird. All right. My bad. I should have probably tried to search you out. Um sorry, missing super chats here. John T vacation fund. Thank you so much. Whiskey fancies. Love what you're doing. Thank you so much. Jeff Meager says, Porter Stimulus Check, $20 Super Chat. Thank you. Didn't have to do that. That's really super nice of you. Just happy to be here, Matt. Awesome this week as usual. Thank you so much, Ken. Appreciate the heck out of you. Dave says, it's all cool. You may raffle it. Someone might desire it more than me. Are you sure? Because you, no, it's not. No, 
No. By the way, if anybody had one and is waiting for stuff, it all went out today for show. Jason Lamp, keep up with the weight loss. I'm now five pounds this week. I still have a long way to go. Heck yeah. Good job. Great job. Doug Christope, not in for the giveaway. Just love your content. Great. Thank you so much, Doug. Thank you for that. Appreciate the heck out of you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Daniel Davis, Matt, happy new year, buddy. Thank you so much, Daniel Davis. Happy new year to you too. All right. Sorry, got off. I little flustered there for a second. All right. What we are doing tonight is a, a blind MGP flight. And if you look in the description below, you'll see that there are nine different MGP bourbons um, that are going head to head. We have Bellmead Cask Strength, Mayor Pingree Seven Year, Traverse City Barrel Strength, Obtanium Bourbon, Joseph Magnus, a store pick bourbon, Remus Repeal Reserve Three, a Smoke Wagon store pick, a Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. and a backbone bourbon uncut. So we're going to see how how much these things how much these things vary and then go from there. See see if like from the worst to the best like what type of variance we're looking at or is all MGP the same? It's kind of what I wanted to know. And like I said before, I think I have an idea that they're going to vary. They will. I believe so anyway. I it's got to be true. Casey Jones Love the channel, love the content. Keep up the hard work with the weight loss. Thank you, Casey Jones. Are you the the famous Casey Jones? I've heard so much about. Um, Tim Evans, 2021 year of the World Stop Whiskey Taster. Thank you, Tim. Love you so much. So I, I poured all these already. They're all poured, randomized, randomly numbered. I don't know which one is which. Not even close. So while we talk, let's get into glass one because we got nine. You better start to drink or I'll be so drunk by the time you are done. Good idea. That's a good idea. All right. Put caps, caps on these ones while I'm while they're waiting. Spin it. We'll spin it. Spinning number one. Got half of these in Visky tasting glasses and half of them in Glen Cairns. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Red licorice with a little bit of black pepper. For shell. Hey, the Linux cat, $10 super chat. Happy New Year. Have fun on your trip. Congrats on your World Stop Whiskey Taster win, and you're looking handsome. Thank you, Linux cat. What the heck? You're awesome, dude. Mm. Nick Lovin. Just loved your Discovery 3 review. Just got my first bottle. So good. It is. It's literally so, it's, it is good. It's one of the best. Ben A. Pretty excited to hear these MGP reviews. I've only had one of those bottles and we'll be taking notes, champ. All right. All right. Red licorice and pepper on here. It is pretty creamy, pretty, pretty cornbready, I would say. Like a a red licorice, like intertwining a piece of corn. I don't know. It's good though. The nose is good. I like the nose on this a lot. Not a lot of spice, but enough. Very, very sweet. Very pleasant and welcoming, I would say. That is my first taste of bourbon today. That is pleasing. I enjoy that. Caramel. Milk chocolate, a little bit of graham, a little bit of a little honey on there. It coats the glass really well. Glass one's a contender. Man, 
there's a, quite a bit of honey on that. All right. Glass one goes into the contender pile. I do enjoy glass one. For show. Sure. Moving over to glass or glass two. Glass two. Hey, Dave, Dave Rose. Email was okay. Let me just check it, check it out real quick, just so I can find it. Because after I get done with these, I'll probably have a hard time. Hmm. I must have went to the wrong email. Because I don't have anything. I'm searching my emails. I don't get nothing. It's fine, Dave. Just email me again. Email me again, ADHDwhiskey at gmail.com, and I'll get it to you. For sure. All right. That's going down. Are the mash bills different? Um, well, they have... Jeez, I don't... I don't know if any of them really disclose. I would imagine that they're not all the same mash bill. They gotta be different. <laughs> Josh Randall, that's funny. All right, this one is a little bit spicier. A little bit spicier. Hmm. Oh, oak. Sometimes, sometimes I smell bourbon and then I don't, I don't pick the oak out right away. It's weird. And that's happened on MGP before. It's happened on um, a Widow Jane 12 year single barrel I had. I was like, what the heck is that note? And it took me forever to realize it was like a, a cherry oak, which is what's happening here. Smells so good. Sawyer Fam Cincy, five dollars super chat. Thank you so much. Wise guy whiskey guy says sounds like Discovery Three. No, it's not in here. Can't be. DC says what's Discovery Four MSRP? The same as the rest. It's like one, one twenty nine, I believe. Michelle Lynn, happy to chill with us, Matt. Loving the shave down beard. Keep up the healthy goals. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm going to keep killing it. I was looking at old pictures today, and I saw myself when I was not fat, and I was, I want that again. I don't want to be gigantic, gigantic forever. All right. G. Jardolino. $10 super chat entering for Jen Ardolino, hoping she wins. Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. Okay, okay that bottle, the bottle's going to, um, going to Dave. So... I need to find a different bottle to give away. I'm so sorry that I brought that up with Dave in chat and I didn't even, Dave, it's been over a month. Why didn't you yell at me? And be like, where the hell's my bottle? So I, you should have been like, what the heck, Porter? <clears throat> All right. I'll think, I'll think of something. There will, there will be a bottle giveaway, but it won't be that. It will be something different. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out for sure. Before the end of the night, I'll it'll come to me. Dan L., we will do a yippee ki get for your giveaway. You don't have to do that. That's not on you guys. Don't do that. That's on me. I, I, made a, I, I flubbed up. I made a mistake. I need to figure it out myself. I appreciate you guys, but I'll figure it out. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm a legend in Washington Strait. 
Sent you a message on Patreon. Okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm all flustered because I flubbed up a giveaway and then tried to give away something that was already somebody else's that I thought just wasn't. And then I, yeah, I feel like an asshole. So super sorry. I read the super chat. Okay. All right. There, it's a Yippee giveaway. And um, that's what we're doing. It's going to be a bottle of Yippee tonight. Not the other thing. Jeez, I'm an idiot. That's fine. That's fine. I'll get over it. You guys will get over it. I'm sorry. Dave, I'm sorry, dude. Really feel bad about that. 300 in chat? I, that's basically my weight right now. For every person in chat, I weigh a pound. If we get two more... Oh, we lost seven. That was quick. Um... Okay, all right. Oh, second one. Second one's good too. Oh, crap. But wait. This has maybe some, maybe some youngness popping through here. Maybe a little bit of youngness. It's, this one is good but it's not as pleasing as the first. There's like a little bit of grassiness to it, a little bit of hay now, a little bit of hay now, hay now. Make it a dickle Tabasco with Malort. Make it a Molasco and sign it. This will work. Ugh, sounds terrible. Julie, I don't feel like Dan Super Chatted enough. I'm going to do the giveaway, so stop worrying and relax. Okay. All right, so it's a bottle of Yippie Kaye. High West Yippie Kaye. Th thank you. You two do way, way, way too much. Way too much. Yes, if you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Appreciate that. Every single like I get makes me feel so good. So fantastic. I I had second thoughts about doing that. And I'm like, well, I can't. But damn it. I feel bad. I feel really bad. Get over it, Porter. Okay, I'm over it. I'm over it. Hmm. 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 Weirdly enough, this... Ooh, okay. On the end of this one. On the end of this one, I am not... I'm not Nick loving it. It is more like a... Hmm. Tastes like a stick. Like a, like a stick that you dipped in, like, port wine and then just rubbed it in the grass. On the finish, and I don't love it. This one's moving to the towards the back. I'm going to say the number two is not going to be winning tonight. Not even close. But we'll see how far away it gets as we go. Oh, shnikes. I'm missing super chats like a gigantic idiot. All right, all right. How many did I miss? I'm sorry. I'll fix this. It's like my first time or something tonight. That's how I feel. So stupid. Sorry, everybody. I'll get, we'll get into the groove here. We'll get into the flow. Nick Lovin. Hey, Matt. Watched an old live when you streamed on the Junkies channel and Opperman bottle chugged Octomore. <laughs> that was a heck of a live stream. That was a long time ago. It was like a year ago. And yeah, it was at Klein's house. <sighs> it's a long night. That was a long night. A fun night. Super fun night. I met a lot of cool people. Had a great time. Thank you for the super chat. Tyson McKinley. Don't worry about it, Matt. You're still the world's top whiskey taster and friggin' killing it. Tyson, thank you. <laughs> DC says, I'd send Dave some old tub and call it a day. That's funny. Uh, Santa loves bourbon says, I just hit the thumbs down button. Sweet. <clears throat> DJ Beacon, Matt, chill. All right. Totally calm. Calmer than you are. Stuff happens, and the right guy is getting the right bottle. A UPK sounds great. Pick that Mayor Pingree Black. That is, 
I almost didn't put the Pingree in here because I feel like the Pingree should run away with it because the Pingree is so good. But then I thought, what if I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong about it? Palettes change over time. What if I'm wrong? This is more, more of a green apple on this one. So far, three MGP bourbons, three different noses. Shake it off, Matt. Get your head back in the game. Good idea. Remember, you are the world's best whiskey taster, not the world's best bottle giver away. You're right. You're right. Three is a little appley. Definite toffee. Definite toffee. A little a hint, a hint of nuttiness. Not a not a bunch, but a hint. Wow. Yeah. Pour it like that a lot. That. It's weird because it's like um, the apple came through a lot with caramel. And typically apple. I don't typically don't, don't get apple on MGP stuff. But as I taste through more and more of these, I think that I'm probably going to see some subtle differences or major differences. And I've got to pick up on different things. I have to. Unless it all starts tasting the same. I think that three is probably better than number one. I'm putting three and one up there with each other. Let me move on to number four. A sip of number four. And before I get into number four, I'll drink some water. A little bit of water. Oh my gosh, how far? Okay, what happens sometimes? Oh my gosh, is I get like a little bit set back and then the chat doesn't keep going. Like the chat stops and I have to go back and move the chat myself. It's 2021, chat. Move yourself. Came in a little late, but how's it going? Eh, we started off a bit shaky, but what's going good? How was the weigh-in for this week? Lost five pounds. Face is looking a little slimmer. Thank you. I shaved my beard. That's, that's step number one, to looking thinner in the face. Trim the beard. Thank you for the super chat. Yippee ki yay away, says taste and sensibility. Heck yeah. Dave says it's all good, man. Thank goodness. Thank you, Dave, for not being yelling at me. Tommy Gilgan, $5 super chat. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get caught up here. Happy to be a porter, supporter, says Jerry Black. It's not about winning, it's about supporting a great channel. Heck yeah. Thank you so much. Is it a great channel? I that probably not. But it is, it's a lot of fun for me. And I love all of you so much. And that is like rocking and rolling with all you guys. If you want to sing, give us a rap verse. All right. Not right now, though. It's going to be a little bit further into the night. Matt, it looks like you just finished boxing. Yeah, and guess what? Untouched. Untouched. Jab, jab, right cross, left hook, uppercut, 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 uppercut. Four uppercuts in a row. Guess what they didn't expect for the fifth one? Headbutt. Freaking didn't expect that. Ref stops the fight. Disqualified? What? Not even a warning? Take a point. Don't just kick me. Don't just disqualify me. <sighs> low blow. Low blow. If I'm going to get disqualified, might as well finish it strong. That's all I'm saying. No one touched me. Rooting for Remus Repeal, one of my faves. It's, the, it's an underdog. It's aged higher than some of these, but it's a little bit lower proof. So it's cool to see, to see where... Where it fits. Calmer than you are. A Lebowski reference? Yes. Calmer than you are, dude. I don't know. What. I'm finishing my coffee. All right. Glass four. Ooh. Tommy D says, I was lost on this challenge and gave up on participating. Was it the Patreon challenge where it was like... Uh, just trying to like guess the order in which I pick these. Yep, okay, I'm after. I am in for second super chat. Looking forward to getting the box you sent me. Cheers, JG. Heck yeah, that went out today, and it is wrapped good. 
I would say for sure. I get worried sending stuff like that. Just getting damaged or destroyed. Oh my gosh, I'm so far back. I would trade that bottle for one of your mixed autographs bottle. What the heck's a mixed autograph bottle? What's a mixed autograph bottle? We can make that happen. Tell me what you want and we'll do it. Hey, Kira's in the house. Thrasher's in the house, friggin' Thrasher. Oh, oh. Old Man Joe, World Stock Whiskey Taster on Friday night and five whiskeys make a cold Friday night a bit warmer. Happy New Year. This one smells a bit younger. It smells a little bit grassier again. A little bit of lemon peel. It's got a citrus on it, but not like a citrus that you're like, oh, friggin' love citrus. It's more like, ugh, kind of like, you know, almost, almost a bit sour, possibly. All right, let's go for a taste of number four. Nutty. Number four is nutty. Why? Why? Okay. I have had nutty MGP before. But why? Is it like a different yeast strain or something that they're using? They must use different yeast strains because that tastes completely different than the other ones. Super nutty. I would say like almost Heaven Hill. It almost tastes like a Heaven Hill product. I don't like that one. Number four is moving to the back of the line. Sorry, number four, but you are obviously not going home the champion. So so sorry to burst your little bubble, but it's not happening. Not tonight. Maybe, maybe next week against some other shit. <clears throat> All right, scrolling down. Oh, I'm still behind. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Oh, Kira Collins. Kira Collins, I almost bitched at you. I almost was like, what's your problem? Then I realized that you were Kira. Thought you were a creeper, but you're not. You're a Kira Kira Reaper. That doesn't sound good either. I'll stop while I'm ahead. Oh my gosh, I'm way behind. John T, additional vacation fund, awesome content. Thanks, John T. I gotta get caught up. I gotta get caught up. I'm probably how far behind? I don't even know. Disqualify for headbutt? Oh my gosh, I am way behind. That was like forever ago. Please make Michelle Lynn a mod. Thank you. I can do that. Just got to go over to here, find her somewhere, wherever she's at. I'll do that as soon as she says something else again. We'll do it. We'll do it. But I'm already behind. Porter, catch up. Tommy D, $5 super chat. No, the way, ch not the way challenge. Oh, the way challenge. Hook me up on the Facebook group. I'm in again. It's on, Bubba. All right. Heck yeah. Did you, did you leave the Facebook group or you haven't joined yet? One I mix myself. All right. If, if that's a fair trade, I will, I'll blend something and autograph it and send it to you in exchange for the mixtures you won, because that sounds like a really silly trade for me not to accept. And if that's a deal, then just, just write shake a shook on it and we'll do it. Brian, nine, neat house. Really hoping one of the underdogs like Belmead or Remus wins. Well, I think that those, I mean, are those really underdogs? They might not be. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Can't touch me. Oh my gosh, I'm, how did I get so far behind, everybody? How did I do that? Thank you for picking number 11 during the Mash and Drum live stream. Just getting into bourbon and love your channel. Jeff Weaver, absolutely. 11 is my lucky number. My birthday, 11-11. Stephen Kemper just got a shirt to show my support. You're freaking killing it, dude. Thank you, Stephen. You have to do that, but thank you. Thank you so much. Whiskey, eh? 
you finish the wee beastie? Also, big news, eh? Yeah, big news coming up, eh? But uh, no, the wee beastie haven't haven't been, haven't went back to it. Not even a second. I would love that. All right, Dave, it's a done deal. I'll I'll blend something that hopefully doesn't suck in a bottle. I'll seal it up. I'll sign the song, bitch, and we'll send it to you. So you know what that means, folks? You know what that means? It's back on. It's back on. We just made a. We just literally made a deal. Actually, it was Dave's idea. So, um, we're. I mean, if everyone's okay with it, we're back to the Mictor's toasted barrel rye barrel strength giveaway tonight. We'll do it. That sounds like an unfair trade, but we'll do it. We need to save ADHD whiskey from all this money. Jeez. Who are you, the government? Not giving stimulus checks to people like me? They're like, hey, we checked and you don't need it. We're keeping it. Jerks. I'm putting the banner back up. Boom. Banner's back up. Did I miss any super chats? I hope not. I think I'm caught up. I think I'm caught up. Pretty sure I'm caught up. Heck yeah, we're caught up. Boom. Dave, you are a gentleman and a scholar. And I don't know about the second part, but definitely a gentleman. On number five. Yeah, $4.99 gets you in the giveaway. Five is... Is it still nuts from the first time? It might still be nuts from the first time. Maybe not. Maybe not. A little bit of... Like if you... If you had like a cinnamon... A cinnamon sugar apple like you put cinnamon and brown sugar on apples and like apple slices and put them in the oven and then you put them on a dirty dish rag you know how the dish rags get like overnight like if you use them too much it gets that smell it smells like apple cinnamon that which is weird <laughs> ken martin throw them back down for the mixture toasted andrew swallows can't find Mixtures around here, other than the regular, I would love to try the toast it. Ethan Turk, making deals and tasting whiskey. Killing it. Pour, pour, pour. I love it. You undervalued your blending ability and signature value. Ugh. Until he gets it and tastes it, and he's like, the hell is this? But I have an idea. I've been working on some stuff, and I feel like it's fun. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. It's kind of a challenge, right? Like, now I need now I need to make Dave something that's worth a shit. I'm looking lean. No, that's just because the camera's from here to here. If let's say that the camera was focused on from here to down there, you would be like, we're not wa we're not watching anymore. For show. Ben A on the eleventh of eleven in my family. Holy crap. So there, here's a couple more 11s, plus my ADHD challenge coin is number 11. Yeah. See? Hey, I love you, Ben. I've, I, I didn't want to give up number 11, but some things you just do. Some things you just do. Shame on the old dish rag. All right, try, I'm trying this one now. Oh, that's interesting. What the heck? That's enjoyable as heck. Number five is coming alive. And, oh, wow. The dish rag be gone, and that tastes like an apple, like an, what is it called? Not an apple pie. Not, like, not a cobbler. Apple shit. Apple something. It's like cinnamon and sugar and apple, and it's like it's like in a thing with it's like it's not like in a pie, but it's kind of like in a oh, shit. I can't. Remember. I'll think of the name, but it's like a cinnamon apple baked deliciousness, so stinking good, and I love it a lot. Michelle Lynn is back. Oh, okay, 
Go on, go on, go on to find her. Got to switch screens, switching screens, switching screens and scrolling. Say that ten times fast. Switching screens. And sc there she is. She's yeah. such a bully. That's funny. Almost put you in timeout, but didn't. Boom. Michelle Lynn is now a moderator for your channel. Julielle says moderate. I say how high or something. Just the way it works. Did I miss? Oh, wow. I'm way up. Way far away. Kira Collins, fight off Super Chat. You missed me hitting on you earlier, so I'll do it again. Looking good, Matt. Thank you, Kira. <sighs> and by the way, you and you and David are curing it. Curing it. Which is me still trying to use your name in some sort of a witty way and failing. But you're killing it. Curing it. That's bad. That's even worse. Yeah, if you guys are not Subscribe to Shelf Turds. Shelf Turds has a hilarious YouTube channel. I watched their... The heck. It got worse that time. The first was... I was so happy. And now a little bit of young... It was Apple something. And now it's that, but the dish rag's back. Son of a gun. All right, I'm going to put you towards... I'm going to put you kind of in the middle, number five. You might we'll have to taste you again before we get all slammed up. Freaking shelf turds. Love them. Scott Robinson, five dollars super chat. With two Michigan whiskeys in your lineup, you and the Michigan whiskey tubers should do a Michigan only blind flight challenge. Johnny Smoking Gun for Kira. I don't want to do I Johnny Smoking Gun, by the way, not cheap at all. At all. Like pretty pretty much 50 bucks. Or something like that. So, gonna go ahead and say that. I don't know. Pink. Let's see. Michigan stuff. I don't know. That'd be fun. I guess it'd be fun. It'd be fun if we could stay on topic. By the way, Scott, also a Mich Michigander myself. A youper. A youper I am. Chasing Giants. Is the big news still coming? Top show? The four uppercuts? Oh, it's still coming. It's still coming. Is Bellmead Reserve cast strength still exist? No. I thought they changed it to a lower proof. They did. Probably wrong. Can you straighten me out? No, they. it's now called Bellmead Reserve, and it's 108.3 proof. <clears throat> Thrasher says thank you to Dave for making one of the world's worst deals. That's okay. Mixer's toasted, friggin' awesome. Apple crisp! There goes my... See? That's why she's in chat. Apple crisp. That's what I was thinking about. It's like she knows me and used to make me apple crisp all the time. Colin Murray Bain, new member. Thank you so much. Love you. Love it. Tom Gilligan, Tommy Gilligan, Tommy G. I didn't plan to enter the weight loss challenge, but glad to be in the group. Seeing everyone's dedication is helping me stay motivated. Good. If it helps, then so happy. So happy. Strudel, Strussel, <laughs> oh, Apple Turnover. Okay, I'm way behind. Porter, get caught up. Apple Fritter, Apple Turnover, Strudel. Can't wait for it. Oh, that's Dave talking about the blend. Oh, boy. The average small life and fitness. Matt, you're looking freaking svelte, bro. Keep it up. Thank you for the super chat. I am looking like I got a haircut. Nick Levin, I got my ADHD regional winner coin. Did I miss the champion coin? No. Champion coin has not been even, haven't even started designing it yet. Thrasher says Apple Toilet, possibly. By the way, Thrasher, thank you for the bottle of Smoke Wagon Single Barrel that is in this flight. You amazing, amazing man, you. Whiskey edition. I told the wife over Christmas I wouldn't get any more bottles until next year. Super, super good way to fool her. Jokes on her, right? Ernie Brubaker, the Brubaker maker himself, just opened Smoke Wagon Uncut and Filtered. It was worth the wait, but I'll take another Mixer's Toasted Barrel Strike. Right? Oh, Apple Jacks. We're still going there. If one of Julia or my super chats wins the Mixer's, the bottle goes back to Dave. Whoa, look at that. Because Dan knows that my blend ain't going to be worth shit. <laughs> that's so funny. But thank you. That's really nice. DC, 
Love you, bro. Do not mod Kerber. Kerber can consume dung. Trev's cool. And the likes are amazing. Cheers. Kerber, what did you do to DC? DC, by the way, thank you so much for the bottle of update. I'm sure you put in this thing. Which one is it? Never mind. You didn't do shit this time. But I still love you. Still love you so much. I don't think. I don't think you did. Nah. But still, I would just automatically assume DC that when I do a flight, one of your bottles is in it. Um, JSG is, oh yeah, Johnny Smoking Gun. Okay, honestly, honestly, you can't use initials for Johnny Smoking Gun. Like, how many people would figure out JSG is, means that? You probably typed that right after I said it, though. So... My fault. Having High West Double Rye tonight, think I'm getting some dill pickle. You, by chance, get that tasted out? Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Oh, especially in Double Rye. Especially in Double Rye. It's a dilly bugger. It's a silly dilly. 100%. $25 Super Chat from Julia says, I want the bottle to go back to Dave, just hoping to help. She also knows that it's not worth a crap, my blend. Super smart. Ooh, glass number six. Smells interesting. Thank you, Julie, for the super chat. And thank you, Dan L, for the super chat earlier. Your mix will go next to my GTS bottle. Oh, boy. I don't have anything snappy to comment, so you can just say my name a couple times if you want. Gary Franchi. Gary Franchi. Gary Franchi. There. Gary Franchi. David Babb. Late to the party, but I finally made it. Welcome, Dave. Nick Levin, what's the better High West Rye, Double Rye or Rendezvous? Um, honestly, never had Rendezvous. I love Double Rye. Heard Rendezvous's better. The only Rendezvous Rye I've had was finished in French Oak Port Casks, and it's called Midwinter Night Dram, or something like that. Thou, thou art shell, something or other. But um, I don't know. I have to try Rendezvous Rye first to let you know. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Number six is here to play. Yeah. Number six is cinnamon -y. cinnamon, brown sugar, traditional, traditional bourbon notes. And it coats the mouth. Like that was, it didn't have like a spikiness to it. It was like a really well balanced. And it hit all the parts, and it was super oily. Finished really good, really strong, and is very much lovable. And it is in the running. So far in the running, our glass is 136, and if five gets its act together and stops tasting like a dish rag, then it might be in the running. But we don't know about five yet. It's up to five. Travis Coakley, $5 Super Chat. <laughs> Want to see my train? F your train. That was so funny. When um, if you guys missed it, um, Mash and Drum and Fred Minnick were live this week on Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday on Fred Minnick's channel. Wednesday on the Mash and Drum. And uh, those two are really, really cool together. Like a lot, lots of fun to watch. I had a great time both nights watching. They bust each other's balls a little bit. They have a great time. Um, they play off each other really well. And for having only done two, like two collaborations, it's like it's kind of like magic in the making. Like what I look at, I look at them and I'm like, yeah, those two could probably have a show together permanently. But anyway, Jason pulls out this friggin' old Jim Beam decanter, and it's a. I'm sure all of you watched this, but it's an old train. It's like a 1970s locomotive. And he is, he's like, hey, before we talk about anything else, I got to show you this. So he's excited about it. And he's like, kind of got his like, he's kind of excited. He's like, I want to show you what I got. And he pulls out this train. And he's like, I got this Jim Beam train. And I like, it's unopened. It's like brand new. 
And I go, I mean, look, check this out. And the entire time Jason was talking about the train, Minnick was just like, look at him like. <laughs> and then Fred was like, it's not, it's not going to taste good. And Jason was like, I didn't plan on, plan on drinking it. And Fred was like, so you just like choo-choo trains. And Jason was like, but yeah, I like choo-choo trains. And Fred's like, all right, I won't say anything else. <laughs> so that's where that comment came from. Um, basically, basically, Jason said, hey, Fred, check out my train. And Fred basically said, F your train. Pretty much what happened. It was so funny to watch, though. If you have, if you missed it, that's on Wednesday's Mash and Drum live stream. So funny. Thrasher says, oh, for the, the smoke wagon. It is good. It is very good. We'll see how good tonight, apparently. Apparently. All right, going to number seven. Dave says, thank you, peeps, but I was blessed with good bottles last year, so I would like to pass on to someone who really wants it. Dave, that's amazing. What, every, everybody cheers to Dave. I came in here tonight, and I was like, when the winner didn't claim the bottle turns out i'm a i'm an asshole not only i mean i okay to to be fair i, I didn't see an email and i searched for his email address in my email and his name and nothing came up so there's that but also which actually makes me the biggest asshole is he's a patron which what i'm that's that's bad that's that's on me that's on me but then he comes through and he's like guess what I'm a superhuman, and I'm amazing, and I would like to make the worst trade on the planet. And if Julie and Dan has their way, he'll walk away with a toaster barrel also, which means they don't, they, oh, man. I, must have, I probably lost points on the Dan and Julie scale tonight. That was an asshole move on my part. What the heck? I'm so dumb. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was supposed to get over that. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. We're scro oh, my gosh. There's so much in chat. Good grief. This is just more entries for Dave to win that bottle back from Julie and I. Wow. Dan and Jewel, Julie, holy smokes. Yeah, he... That's really nice of you. And every time you do that, I'm feeling worse and worse and worse. Adam Dorman. Cheers, Matt. In keeping with the MGP skirmish, I'm on to Optanium Light Whiskey. It's amazing. It is. If you haven't had Optanium Light Whiskey, then you're missing out. It's one of the best things ever. It's legitimately one of the best things ever. And I believe that one day it will become unobtainium or unobtainable because the word's going to get out. Thank you for the super chat, Adam. Appreciate the heck out of it. All right. I am on glass seven. And glass seven is almost like an espresso. There's a little orange peel on there, a little citrus. Maybe a little red licorice, or maybe my nose is just... My nose might be getting used to that note that I'm usually getting on MGP, and it might kind of be like right there, hard, but maybe I'm just getting used to it and can't smell it as strongly. But it smells fantastic. All right. Hey, Gene's in the house. Gene says, that's me. Gene, Eugene, is the man over at... He's, I mean, he's the man, one of the men, one of the people, one of the... He's... Optanium, that's his stuff. That all the, the Optanium light whiskeys and bourbons and like the Polish rise, all the Optanium stuff, that's Eugene. Friggin' and Gene. Hmm. All right. Down the hatch on glass number seven. Wow, that's different. These these must be different mash pills 
because this one has a rye, a definite rye uptick at the end. It it ticks up. The rye ticks up. Like it has a rye finish. That's weird. Must be higher rye. But it's good. It's hecka good. I know that MGP has higher rye bourbons, and this must be that. Because it had a, a minty, a real minty characteristic popping on the back of the tongue on the finish. And it's good. It's good. It's up there. Is it the best one so far? I don't know. But I'll taste it again against the other, other ones to find out. For show. Oh, boy. Scrolling back up. As soon as I start talking, I start missing stuff. Dan L., we want Dave to win because he's being so cool, not because he did something wrong. We love you, man. I hope so, because I don't know where else I'll sleep for a while. Can't wait to be there. I'm we're so we're so excited. I'm going to go meet Dan and Julie again. I mean, see them again. All right, number eight. Class number eight. Santa loves bourbon is drinking some 12-year smoke wagon. Josh Hamilton, Jay Hamilton. I think it's Josh. The human brain can keep roughly 150 relationships at a time. Stop kicking yourself. You're the world's best whiskey taster. Still human. I don't think my brain can do that. I think my brain is more like 15. I am so... Today, we were in the Lamborghini driving back from... Where the heck were we even at? See, that's my problem. I don't even know where we were coming from. But we were on our way back home in the Lamborghini, And the kids were in the back screaming songs that they were making up. They're like, ABCs. I love them. The ABCs. In a van. And I'm like... They're just screaming it. And I'm like, my brain sucks as it is. But with the screaming and all the noise, basically, I don't even know how it's operating anymore. I love them. I love them. But my brain's functioning at about 7% most of the time. All right. Back to this glass. Hank Butts is in the house. Sorry I'm late, but glad, but glad to be here. Cheers all. Loving the Bardstown Discovery 4. It's a fantastic, fantastic pour. I, After tasting a three, the review that was out today, I loved that so much that I was like, what if I did the wrong thing? What if I put the wrong one in first place? So I side-by-sided them again. And I recorded it. Now, there's going to be a video coming out. And I might look stupid. Just to let you know. All right. This one is more tobacco-y. Tobacco. Little, yeah, it's heavy tobacco. Tobacco and black cherry. Nice. Little pepper. Little pepper for sure. Good grief. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that a lot. Well, wait. That's got the same apple pie thing that the other one had. Number five. I think number five was the apple pie guy. And then eight also shares characteristics of that. But eight was an experience where I was like, whoa, what's happening here? Um, I'm going to be totally honest. We have one left. We have one left. And I thought I was going to be able to pick the Mayor Pingree out of this lineup. I almost didn't put it in because I thought that the Pingree was going to stand out so much. And unless it's number nine, I have no idea which one it is. So that means these are closer than I thought they would be. Definitely enjoy the humor, says Robert Faulkner. Keep it going, man. All right. I'll try to be funny. Just joking. That'd be terrible if I tried. 
That haircut is deserving of the world's best whiskey taster. Cheers, brother. Thanks, Whiskey Tornado. <sighs> you wreak havoc over Whiskey Tube. You're a path of destruction, but you're super kind and generous, and I love that about you. <sighs> We're not in Kansas anymore, Whiskey Tornado. Mike Kaz, enjoying some swordfish oil. Cheers, Matt. Really enjoyed the advent calendar. Glad you enjoyed that. It was fun. And I kind of miss doing everyday videos. Maybe I should do those again. If you don't mind, if you don't mod Daniel Kerber, I'm going to resign. He is beating me to every Super Chat entry, and maybe I am a bit schlammered, but he deserves it. He's beating you to every Super Chat entry. That son of a bitch. He deserves to be a moderator. But DC said not to. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Mike Johnson, greetings from your... Minnesota Whiskey Elite friends, Mike Johnson. Oh, hey, here we are over there in Minnesota. Hopefully you guys are uh, staying warm and uh, tell your folks I says hi. A.B. Scars Alex says, sometimes I text Matt and he doesn't remember who I am. That's not true. Sometimes I don't text back for like three or four days because terrible person and I love you so much, but I remember who the heck you are. ADHD Whiskey Live from Mike Studios. That's going to happen next Friday. It's going to happen. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. We're figuring this out as we go. Scrolling down. Hope Bell Mead wins, says Adam Shelton. Who knows? It just might. <laughs> Chi Charlino says, I just want to remind you, I just want to remind every... It's Friday night, and you ain't got shit to do. I'm going to get you high today. Look at this. Hey, it's Nick. Always love whiskey. Everybody can direct their when am I going to get Bardstown bourbon in my neck of the woods questions to always love whiskey. He'll answer them. Hey, Nick, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. For hopping in. Wise guy, whiskey guy, which pingree? It's a seven-year black label. Seven-year black label. Dan L. is going out of, out of his mind. He's out of his damn mind, people. Going to cap these favorites of mine. Like, uh, gentlemen. Okay, using this super chat for something else. All right. Let's do it. Let's read it up. Just ask a question. Santa loved bourbon. Why are you being such a douchebag? Wait, you can't answer while you're timed out, can you? Oh, that guy. I was gonna, I was gonna address that earlier when he said something about giving a thumbs down. He, I'm not sure who he is. He might be somebody else that's just a, you know, like a second account or something. But yeah, he was on hot buttery rolls the other night, and I was like. Nah, just, you can, it's funny to bust walls and stuff, but, like, there's a limit. I didn't see what he said earlier, like, why you timed him out, but thank you. Because, thank you. Don't need that shit. Colin Murray Bain, looking trim, mate. Oh, thank you, mate. Think I need to steer clear of the scotch aisle for a couple months and explore some MGP by the sounds of it. It's good. It's good stuff. Some of it better than others. So let's explore further. Old Man Joe, I, I enjoy your reviews and notes, even if I can find the unicorns that you review. I can't find them either. Um, I, the, I, where I'm living right now, where I'm living right now, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm, I, I don't, there's nothing. But other places, I was able to get my hands on some things. But most of the stuff is sent to me that's that's the cool shit because I, I can't get it either. So it's just, um, I feel bad about it. But at the same time, I don't because guess what? Love it so much. Matt Kappa. Hey, Matt, love your stuff. But I really, but really doing this for a chance at the Toasted Rye. I don't totally understand that. Totally understand. Dramhound. They're not lurking. 
came back when you said you're at 7% brain function. I'm right there with you after this week. Miss you, buddy. Miss you too. Um, man, parenting is just, it's like you can't get a, you can't get a clear thought. And then I'm like, this is my thing. This is, I've got a to-do list. I've got a to-do list. And it's like, do this and this and this and this. And then you get caught up. And then it turns into make a sandwich, make a different sandwich because the first sandwich had crust on it. And if you take the crust off of it now, it's still not as good. So it gets thrown in the garbage. So make another one. Oh, and then the other kid sees that you made them two sandwiches. So they also want two sandwiches. Not because they'll eat two, but it's only fair if they get two. But you got to make the first one and you got to make it right. And then you have to make the second one even better. And it's like, I don't... And then they're thirsty and they want water at separate times. And then the dog's got to go out and come back in. And then it's just one thing after another. It's like, I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm, I pooped, wiped my butt. And then just overlapping noises, loud, loud TV, YouTube on way too loud with screaming children, not even my own kids. They're just YouTube kids who are making millions of dollars screaming on YouTube in my ear. Why? Why? I can't think. And you're making millions of dollars. Sorry. Friggin' Ryan's world. Oh, Dave Rose back. Dave Rose. You should do a monthly raffle for your patrons. Yep. The winners, the winners will send you samples so you may guess them. Yeah. I do a raffle to see who sends me samples. That sounds super pretentious. Like I will do a raffle to see who has the honor to send me samples. Um, oh, boy. I don't know. I always accept samples. That's a lot of fun. We did the whole guessing thing the entire time leading up to World Stop Whiskey Taster. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. If anybody wants to send me samples, just hit me up and I will accept them. Um, as long as we're in a situation where we're not moving at any point soon. Because then stuff gets lost and things. and That's not fun. Ken Martin, this is for the band Santa Loves Bourbon Fund. Only positivity here. What the hell did that guy say? Was it mean? Was it super mean? Tyson McKinley. Can't wait until you can do Michigan meetups, Tri-Cities, or Detroit, and I'll be there. Would love to share a pour at the World Stop Whiskey Taster. Okay. We just hit the comment of one of the comments of the night. Because guess what? Ring-a-ding-ding. Big news number one. Ling a ding 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 dong. Spoke with Bardstown Bourbon Company earlier this week, and Nick, always love whiskey, can testify. Tyson McKinley says, Can't wait until you do a Michigan meetup, Tri Cities or Detroit, and I'll be there. Bardstown Bourbon Company is, they're releasing their products in Michigan this year. Like they're launching in Michigan, and there will be a launch party in Michigan, and I will be invited to, like, be hosting said party with Bardstown Bourbon Company, along with Bardstown Bourbon Company. So guess what? We'll talk about it more later when there's a date set, but I think everybody should be there. If you can make it, if you can make it, that's where you can destroy it. And by, I mean, not in a bad way, in a good way. Like, everybody just shows up. And it's a crazy time. And the people at Bardstown Bourbon Company are like, what the hell just happened? And the people, like, the store owner is like, what the hell just happened? Why are there so many people here? That's what we should do. Because the Bardstown Bourbon Company launch in Michigan is going to be a great way for Michiganders and surrounding states, the Midwest, to come to Michigan and bring their money and just be like, guess what? We support Bardstown Bourbon Company. We support the freaking this what's happening here. And we love everything and we love the community and just blow people away. Because that's what the community does. And if 10 people show up, love it. If a hundred people show up, absolutely crazy insane. And hopefully we make it happen. Would absolutely love it if we could get a big, big warm welcoming into the state of Michigan for BBC. Receive the Joseph Magnus Cigar on Bourbon from the charity event. Delicious. Heck yes. It's that's that's a good one, Rory. Thank you for the super chat. It is tremendous. Such a good pour. I think it was maybe in my top top 10 whiskeys of the year. Maybe you should watch that video. Maybe. 
Oh, am I missing stuff? Hopefully not scrolling. I get too busy talking and then I get totally backed up. Nail it with the kid thing. I went to the grocery store today just to get pickles, pineapple, carrots, and ice cream. And I was like, why? Oh, yeah, my four-year-old said to do it. Oh, my gosh. They're the bosses. They're the bosses, and you forget that. You forget that they're not. Mike M., Happy New Year to you, too, Mike. Heck, yes. Happy New Year. Scrolling down. Scrolling down. We're getting caught up. Daniel, $5 super chat. What happens when the world's top whiskey taster hits the Texas Whiskey Trail? That's the one everyone wants to see. There... Okay, when I hit the world, the Texas Whiskey Trail, there's going to be a lot of, and a lot of, and a lot of, what the heck, because shit's funky, some of it. I'm sure some of it's fantastic. I'm sure some of it's, like, crazy good. But some of it, whoa. I need to get, that's, a, that's an acquired, an acquired thing. It's potent. It's potent. It's abrupt and aggressive. It's aggressive. Cameron Batco, we all show up so they give you the default 2021 championship. Heck yeah. Uh, scrolling. All right, we're almost caught. Well, every time I think I'm almost caught up, the thing gets bigger. That's what she said. Did ADHD whiskey lose 20 pounds? Just a beard. Um, I've lost, well, since the beginning of the challenge, I've lost like 14 pounds and a beard. I've lost like... 25 pounds in September. I got to 326, which is a new record for me in weight and probably in chat too. But still, yeah. I'll be there if your governor allows it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. She's a stickler. She might not let anybody in. And if she lets you in, she might not let you leave. Just saying. All right. Glass number nine. This is the final one. This smells tremendous and ridiculous oaky cherry a little bit of orange definite toffee there is yeah like a cigar aspect to this one so down the hatch let's find out if this one is ridiculously good or just smells like it Whoa. Okay. What the heck? What the heck is that? That's friggin' crazy good. That's in first place. That might be the reason why I didn't want to put the pingry in the contest. I thought it was going to stand out. I Because the Mayor Pingree seven-year black label. It's a blend from Valentine Distilling. It is a blend of MGP bourbons with the youngest barrel being seven years old. And it has literally dominated barrel proof flights before. Like stood out. And it's only like, it's not even the high proof. It's 118 proof, but it's so good. And I was like, how did it not stand out? But then that must, that must've been it because number nine is in first place. And it's really not that close. So let's let's move on from there. I believe number nine is in first place. It's got to be. Did I say eight was good? Crap. What did I do with eight? <sighs> what did I say about eight? Because I see eight just sitting here like a lonely, lonely guy or girl. 272 in chat. Hey, how many likes we got going on? How many likes do we have here? I can't even, I'm trying to find it. Oh my God, I'm not even, it's not even up on my, oh boy. Still can't see it. That's ridiculous. Maybe it's on my phone. I don't know why I can't see how many likes. It better be a lot, that's all I'm saying. Otherwise I'm gonna throw a fit. I'm gonna throw our shit in. There is oh 256 likes. That's actually a lot. 
That's actually a shit ton for 272 watching. <laughs> I was about to be like, what the heck? Turns out, turns out there's a, just a whole bunch of likes. So, whoops. All right. Oh, boy. Um, oh, Mike, Mike says, holy shnikes, mind blown. Any idea of what town the Bard's Home Launch will be in? I do not know. I am going to beg and plead. Um, hopefully, I, I, I don't, I don't know if they have plans yet or like, I don't know. I would love, 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 triple love. It to be at Opperman's Corkinale in either Midland or Saginaw because the junkies are in that area and Klein is in that area. And I think that if it was in that area, the the turnout would be crazy. It'd be crazy. If they if they did it in Detroit or like um let's say Grand Rapids, we still have a great turnout. But I think if it was at Opperman's in Saginaw, the turnout would be just outrageous. I know it's for North, but I don't think that matters. I think it's just people just coming to that. Just, I don't know. I don't know what their plans are. But I'll bring it up, and we'll see. Because that'd be cool to get just the entire community there. Because what could be, what, there's just no harm could be done with that. The more the merrier, right? Greer Crabtree, hope your 2021 is as good or better than your 2020. Cheers. Thank you, Greer. You too. I hope that your 2021 is your best year yet, and you just kill it. Destroy it. Um, my chat jumped on me. 270. There's lots of likes. That's good. All right. Oh, Tyson McKinley. Didn't mean to spoil the news. Cheers to Barstown coming into the mitten. I'll be there if, like, work permits it. Awesome. That'd be super spectacular. Nobody south of Kentucky wants to come to Michigan, says Jacob. Well, I get that. I totally get that. For sure. All right. Um, but that was that was some some big news. Because Bardstown said that that's what they were doing, and they invited me on that, which is super cool. Number nine, I think, is in first place. We gotta keep going with this, otherwise, I'm never gonna finish it up. Never gonna finish it. Can't remember if I like number eight or not, so I've gotta taste that again. Number nine is way out in front. Let's taste number eight. I like number eight. Eight is good. But how does it compare? How does it compare? I don't know. Three, one, six, and seven are also in the running. Again, thank you, everybody, for being in here tonight. I love each and every one of you. I know that Sometimes I get flustered and I have a hard time recovering from it. And I feel terrible. I'm like, oh, shit, now tonight's going to suck because I can't even get over something. But I think we got over it. And by the way, time to get over this sweatshirt in the middle of a heated room trying to show off my merch. Because now we're getting down to it in a destination bourbon. Look at that T-shirt. Look at that in focus. That's a beautiful tea. Destination Bourbon, Michael Klein. If you're not subscribed to him, you better be. And you better own one of his shirts because they're tremendous and comfortable. Super comfortable. Let us know when and we'll book flights from California. You live in California. I know this. That's a long way. That's a long way. But I'll let you know. Um... I think number seven must have been the one that was more rye forward. Hey, 
That's good too. The finish, the rye finish on that, the rye forward finish is a bit piney. Definitely piney. Like when your um, high school bully would put a pine cone in your mouth and pine needles and tell you to chew it up. And you're like, I can't do it. And he's like, just do it. And you're like, I can't do it. It's like it was kind of good, but at the same time, a little bit too much pine. So I would say that number seven is moving there, which would be not in first place. Number eight, maybe slightly above that, but we'll give that another shot. And then we're moving to glass six, because glass six was good. A little water, a little water. So we ruled out um, a lot of these early on. But I would say I, I poured a lot of whiskey tonight. My, my Bardstown Bourbon Company, super awesome decanter, is going to be full by the end of the night. That's for sure. Matt, I will drive to Saginaw from Columbus for the world's top whiskey taster. Also to meet Dan. <laughs> well, Dan L. doesn't live there. Dan L. lives far from there. Dan Shook lives near there. Mike D, keep it out of the chat. Keep it out of there. We don't need that in chat. <clears throat> David Babb, I haven't been back in Michigan since visiting the island. Would love to, I'd love a reason to go back. The island. Is that Hawaii? It's got to be Hawaii. Well, no. Visiting, I haven't been back in Michigan since visiting the island. Isle Royal? You're talking about Isle Royal? What the heck? I, I don't know. I give up. It is getting hot in here. So I took off the, the, the zippy the zippy hoodie, and now I'm 1 million percent worth it. Hey, if you want to come in from California, I'll power to you or something. That'd be crazy. Your bullies were very strange. Pine needles. They were. Just ran me over with cars and stuff. Pine needles. Purple nurples. No big deal. Hey, did the hand-delivered package get to you? Yes, today. Arrived safely. And can't wait to do it. Um, so when I get back from Florida and Shayla returns from her hiatus, we'll do it. We had a bit of a a bit of a Shayla ADHD run-in gonna happen. And if you make the meetup in July, I might be out in Charlevoix. Oh heck yeah. I don't know when they're launching. I'll have to find out. Ned Fermick is in the house. We had different childhoods, probably. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. 272 in chat, 273. Mackinac. Oh, Mackinac Island. That makes way more sense. What the heck did Kira say? Oh, Kira, what the heck did you say? I can't find it. Never mind. Not going back up. Got to go back down. I guess Dan Shook is a decent consolation. That's really funny. Kira says, take it all off. All right. All right. We'll get this channel. We'll get this channel shut down quick. Okay, Mike D. That's enough. I am getting so hot. I want to see. Okay. Number six is Wasmo's good. That smells rich. A rich nose. Caramelly. Graham cracker. I like that. I like that. Oh, man. Number six. What the heck? Number six is... Is number six better than number nine? I don't know. Number six is ridiculous. It's got like, it coats the mouth so, like, it's the oiliest of the bunch, I think. And it is phenomenal. I love number six. Number six and number nine, cue the jokes, are definitely, definitely 
in the top running here. Which ones did I not taste? I think one and three need to be tasted again. Let's go number one. Number one's good. Number one smells good. Number one is super solid. It's really good. Dave says, I haven't heard ADHD rap in a while. Well, sometimes I feel like singing. Sometimes I feel like rapping. Sometimes I feel like humming or whistling, even though I can't whistle worth a damn. Hi, all. What did I miss besides the shaving? Hey, guys, remember that time that my wife shaved my head on a live stream? That was fun. I just remembered that. Um... I'll rap again one day. It's really uncomfortable doing it. I can't. Just, just it's very uncomfortable. But when I, when I, I don't know. Dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Dies like what? Well, all night long. Just a good song. Just a good song. By the way, hot buttery rolls. If you guys haven't, okay, Hot Buttery Rolls, the guy who I'm in, in the weight loss challenge with, Hot Buttery Rolls has the voice of an angel. Let's let's not weigh in the fact that he can do 15 push-ups, which is 15 more than me, but he can sing. He can hold up. He's just, it's like, he's going to be one of those people on like one of those singing shows where they're like, the, what is it called? Like the voice or some shit? Where he's like, hello! And he's like hitting these notes. And he's singing like Adele or like Whitney Houston or Lady Gaga. And people are like, oh my god, what are we listening to? Who could it possibly be? It, it, I mean, it, is it actually Lady Gaga? And they're like, no! It's hot buttery rolls! And he's like, Y'all welcome. And they're like, what the heck? And he's like, I don't, I didn't even know I could do it. And they're like, you're amazing. And he's like, I, I'm just, I'm just from, I just, and they're, they're just loving his humbleness and wow. He can sing though. He can sing so good. He's a combination of Fergie and Jesus. He can, he can put together a little bit of a, little bit of a song. I've heard him. I've heard him do it. He can sing Creed and make Creed sound tolerable. Oh, boy. Tim C. Fight all Super Chat. Pick a song, set the likes, easy peasy. Oh, I mean, I, what, I think there's, there's more likes than people in chat, so I can't really... Yeah, there's 289 likes and 282 in chat, so I don't think there's much we can do as far as garnering more likes what's your favorite mgp blending company who does it better than anyone else you think prior to this tasting asks tim c um prior to this tasting i was thinking i, I for a fact thought it was valentine distilling this is mayor pingree seven year black um like i said this I've had the, some of their other blends, and they're also ridiculous. But it's insane. It's, it's super insane, like, what this tastes like. And I almost didn't include it because I thought that it wouldn't be fair. But I thought that, um, I think his name is Justin. I think he's the blender over at Valentine. Um, just he does incredible stuff. I don't know. I don't know, like, what his method is. But I'd like to talk to him about it because incredible. And then if it comes in last place, then I'll put my foot in my mouth, even though I could never get my foot anywhere near my mouth. Not even close. Nowhere near. Scrolling down. Hey, old man Joe, thank you. Friday night. Super good Friday night with you. Whiskey recommendation, please. Don't know what to drink tonight. I, if I'm, if, what do you, I mean, I don't know what you got. How about you, Alec? drink just gonna throw it out there if i were you if i were alec rubin 
And I created the best cigars on the planet. And there was no question about it. And I had to go to bed at night thinking that. I personally would drink Old Granddad 114. But I know you don't have that. So drink Rare Breed because that's what that's my second. That's that's what you should do. I got a text message. Text message rolling in. Interrupting the chat. Let me just let you know what it says. Text message rolling in from the very important and popular 810-955-9736. Catch bank loans for poor credit. Apply here. Super glad that that interrupted the chat. Nice. Oh, boy. Uh, hot buttery rolls. He's in chat. Are you the? Are you talking about my Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I can't even do it. Yeah, that was, no. I was talking about how you sang it, how you sang on your live stream one night, and you were just doing bits and pieces, but it was obvious that you're. Oh my gosh, just beautiful, beautiful, amazing, super. What I would consider to be a great voice, just great. Dan L. appreciates Alec Rubin. I appreciate, I appreciate Dan L. for a lot, but I also appreciate him for appreciating Alec Rubin because Alec is a wonderful, tremendous human being, and we all love him and his product, the best cigars on the planet. Scrolling down, scrolling down. Patrick Fulmer, Fulmer, ten dollars super chat. Hey, buddy, rock on, rock on to you too, Patrick Fulmer. Number one down the hatch. One is super solid. I probably already said that. That tastes really familiar. I think we're getting an order here. I think Porter's getting his order. I think Porter's getting his order. Number one, it's good. But can it beat three, six, or nine? I doubt it. Unless I haven't tasted three in a while, so maybe. Patrick, thank you for the super chat. Love it. Love it so much. Um, all right, get to the bottom. Got to the bottom of it. Perfect. Now, if it would scroll by itself, it would help. All right. We are on glass three. And I remember glass three being pretty good because it, it wouldn't have made the list. Hot buttery rolls called me a dude, says Julielle. All right. His voice sucks, and he'll never be on the voice. For sure. Where's the snub for that? But I love Chris, just to be clear. I love him too. But Julie's no dude. That's just plain rude. 100%. You just found what? What the heck did you find? Oh, man. Why do you have to make me go up and chat? Why would you assume I don't have OGD-114? I had it until Bradley took my bottle. What a jerk. Okay. Can I tell you what pisses me off? Before I before I make my decisions here, before I make my decisions here, um, Alec and his brother Bradley, and he, I mean last week or this week, Alan was on the show, the dad who seems like my best friend, and they do like a whiskey Wednesday on Wednesdays, of course, and they sit there with their whiskeys and their cigars, talking about whiskeys and cigars, with their legs crossed so perfectly. It's just like, and they do it like it's not even a big deal. They just sit there like they've crossed their legs their entire life, looking like gentlemen smoking cigars with other gentlemen. And I tried literally to shoot a video of my legs crossed, and my wife sent me a text message at 3.45 in the morning. She's like, what, what the f are you, what, what the F are you doing awake still? And I hadn't even started drinking yet. I was just trying to cross my leg. I was like, I can't get it over there. And I tried stretching and twisting and spinning and twirling and getting it loose. No, it wasn't happening. And they just do it like it's no big deal. <sighs> Whiskey Wednesdays. Baby cigars. Jeez. Just jerks. All right. Glass number three. 
I love this. But you, you're drinking OGD 114. I need I need another bottle. When I was in Connecticut, OGD 114 was $21.99. And I didn't get a bottle because I'm an idiot. Because in Michigan, it's 30 bucks, And it's a $9 difference. Is it anything to sweat? Maybe. Maybe if you need a few gallons of gas. But it's just a... It's just a it's like, I know it's more expensive here. I don't want to buy it. But at the same time, I want to buy it. Evan Ray got a Bardstown Discovery Series 3 today. And you loved it, let me guess. Let me keep reading. Mm. Fantastic bottle. I knew it. You've won me over yet again. Cheers. Have a great night. Evan Ray, thank you. And cheers to you as well. The Discovery Series. Okay, let me just say this. I had Discovery 1. It was my number three whiskey of the year in 2019. At the beginning of this year, I had Discovery 2. And I thought it was really good. But for some reason, I thought that it was kind of like off a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know why. But then a couple nights ago, I had just like this much left in the bottle. And I finished it off. And the last ounce and a half of that bottle was tremendous. So good. I got it right here now. It's water. America. But three and four, Discovery three and four, insanity. If you put Discovery three or Discovery four in a BTAC bottle, and then they sold those, like literally the 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 whiskey in that bottle, if it were in a different bottle, would be like six hundred dollars in the secondary market. If the bottle, if it was bottled right, if it said. If this had George T. Schlag or something, it, it would be insanely expensive. So, like Evan did, get one while you can. Otherwise, they'll probably be gone after the word gets out. Tim C., Clyde May's 12-year cast strength is a realist. Don't at me. Tim C., I just shot a video the other night for my most... Um, my biggest surprise whiskeys in 2020, my biggest surprise whiskeys. And Dan L., who's on the screen, Dan and his wife Julie sent me a bottle of, I think it's a nine-year cask strength Clyde Mays. And everything I heard about Clyde Mays leading up to that was bad. And then I tasted that bottle and I was like, what the heck? It's super sweet. It's super oily and super good. Is it too sweet? Maybe. Maybe. But not for me, because guess what? I love sweets. So Clyde Mays, I don't hate you for that, not at all. Clyde Mays, I, the cask strength stuff, brain dynamite, super good. Oh boy, what am I missing? Passing the torch to Daniel Kerber, he's going to be running tonight's giveaway. Yes, the guy without a wrench. Son of a bee, I didn't give him a wrench yet. Oh, I... It's not that I don't want to give him a wrench. It's just that I need to switch over to the YouTube to do it. Leg crossing takes practice. All right. All right. I'll do that. I'll practice. I'll keep practicing. I'll keep practicing the leg crossing. It's hard. When you weigh 700 pounds, it's hard. Would you buy more than one Discovery 3 or 4? Yes. Um, so let, let me be extra clear here. They don't sell Discovery 3 or 4 in Michigan. But if I came across a Discovery 3 or 4, my Discovery 3 is getting very low. Like through samples and spilling it on myself and stuff and just tasting it over and over again. I, yeah, I 100% would buy at least one more. And I'm not a guy who spends over $100 on a bottle very often at all. I could count on one hand how many times I've spent over $100 on a bottle. But Discovery 3 and 4, I, I would, 100%. And I will. I will for sure. Can't live without those. Those are so good. All right. As soon... Santa Loves Bourbon says, How do I get a wrench? I will promote the Patreon. If you stand still, I will take several wrenches. 
and just chuck them at your face. And I would assume that I would get lucky and one of them would hit you right between the eyes and you would be unconscious for at least at least six minutes. And then I would throw out left-handed to give you a second chance. Son of a bitch. Just kidding. I don't know if I love you or not. But you asked for a wrench, so I'd give you one. For sure. 100, 100%. Nope. Oh, got another text message. That one's probably from my wife. Nope. Yep. How late are you streaming for? Not very much longer. Probably another half hour. Another half hour and I'll be done. For sure. Should I get a second Discovery 4 or 1, 3, and 1, 4? I don't know. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer? Which do you prefer? All right. I think I think I have an order here. Man, three is good. Is three better than six? Well, I don't. Three and six are close. I think second place, the runner-up, is going to be close. Where the heck? Oh, there's Daniel Kerber. There's Daniel Kerber. Oh shoot! Where'd he go? Switched over to the old Facebook. And Daniel Kerber, so sorry, DC, is now a moderator. The, the everyone, everyone said do it. So except for DC. And I'm so sorry, DC, but I was told to. Check Facebook messages. I will do that. I will do that. I will lose I will lose viewers while I check Facebook messages, but I am doing it. And I have only something from David at Shelf Turds. So whoops. Nothing. There. Alright, nothing there. Oh, any more news? Any more news? My mom coming in hot with the news. Yes, there is more news. And thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's, there's still 273 people in here. I'm about to get to the order of these, what I would consider to be Porter's order. But first of all, I need to tell you about the big news. Cheech says, I'll take a wrench. I'm just chucking them out. <laughs> you will not be disappointed, unlike DC. That is pretty funny. All right. All right, news. News time. Um, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> okay. Michelle, I just sent you a back. I sent you a message back. All right. We do have news. I think, okay, let me, before I give news, just put these in the order I think that they belong. That way, if my news takes seven hours, I will not have ruined my order. Because it could happen. I think it happened last time. And pretty sure that's the way the cookie crumbles. I will double check, but pretty sure. All right. So on just a couple days ago, okay, I'm just going to cut to the chase. I'm going to cut to the chase. The people have spoken, and it's going to happen. Um, I had a very robotic $5 Super Chat for the Brain Candy fans. You know who you are. I don't know what that means, but... They do, for sure. Where was I? Oh, I had a really cool um, Skype, not Skype, Zoom 
meeting with Bardstown Bourbon Company a couple days ago. And originally, okay, so at okay, at the Bardstown Bourbon Company, the way that they do their blends is they have their culinary team and their distilling team and um, their beverage team, like their um, their the bar team. They blend, they blend themselves. So like they have a competition. So it's like the Discovery Series three was blended. Like that product, like the percentages for what went into that product was blended by Sam Samantha Montgomery, the national brand ambassador. So it was her blend that won. Discovery Series four, Stu. Who the he's the executive chef there. The executive chef, his blend won. And that's what became Discovery Four. So they have like they don't have a master blender. It's like a team that they all blend stuff that they think is the best. It's like a blend again. And they go through tournaments and rounds, and then like the winner of the rounds moves on. And then initially like a after all that said and done, they actually pick a blend for the winning, the, the winning blend. So that's how Fusion gets picked. That's how the Fusion series gets picked and the Discovery series. There's not a master blender. It's an entire, the entire distillery is working on it, which is incredible. It is a lot of teams. So Matt Blend, 2021 Whiskey of the Year Matt Blend. Um, I, super cool, will have an opportunity to make my own Discovery Blend for Discovery 5 and Fusion Blend for Fusion 5. They will be entered into the, like their, their tournament. So like, they're going to send me stuff that like, I can, I can blend it. Like I can work remotely. Right. And I can, I can blend my own blends, like with what they send me and then enter my own blend into their competition. So realistically, Discovery 5 or Fusion 5, if my blend is the best blend in the company, which it won't be, but it's a possibility that Discovery 5 or Fusion 5 could be my own recipe, which is incredible, which is super cool. Like, I, it's, it's insane to me. Armageddon of Whiskey. Like a space space stuff, yeah. Barstow Discovery Series Two is good. I need I need to do a blind with one, two, three, and four next to each other. But Series Two is very good. I think Series Three and Four, just off of like, I never taste them all side by side. But I think Three and Four are out of this world good. Like Three and Four are the best. One might be really good. Like really neck. I don't know. One and two, it's just, it's been too long since I was able to really taste them. I had a little bit of two the other night and it was really good, but still, I don't know. But the blending potential is so cool, yes. But that's not the big news. That's not the big news. Cheech Arlino, very few things will keep me up past midnight. Gigs, insomnia, at Jim Arlino and ADHD whiskey. That's really funny. Um... So I'll I'll get entered like my blend will get entered into that for Bardstown Bourbon Company, but the big news is what we were asking for all along. So um, the cra the crazy cool people over at Bardstown Bourbon Company, who are amazing. These people are ridiculously cool. Like I I don't even know how to like I can't put it into words how cool they are. But like, so I was on this call the other day and they told me that. And they said originally the idea was for the winner, the world's top whiskey taster winner, to get with Steve Nally, the master blender at Bardstown Bourbon Company, and put together a blend that would be entered into the Discovery and Fusion Series lineups, like the, like the tournament. So like I... It, me and Steve would get together and we would put together something that would be entered and like, we could possibly win. So like the winning discovery series could have been me and Steve, 
or a fusion series could be me and Steve. But that's not going to happen. They're just going to send that stuff to me, and remotely I'm going to blend and send my stuff back. And then I'm going to get to judge their stuff. But what they're doing for me and for you, because they watch this, and they see the support, and they see how cool each and every single one of you are and how awesome you are. And like, like they saw people at the distillery when they told you not to come. And they still saw a dozen people show up to support me. So they know that if we work together, there's going to be support there. And there's going to be people who want stuff. I don't know how to really put it, but sometime this year, uh, I'm going to be traveling to Kentucky, to Bardstown. And I, along with Steve Nally, his guidance, we will blend a product together, a small batch product. And it's going to be like the world's top whiskey taster blend, the matte blend, I think she called it. And me and Steve are going to blend it. It's going to be phenomenal. And it's going to be like it's going to be a product and labeled and going to be sold in their gift shop. It's going to be a distillery only release, but it's going to be my blend. It's going to be our blend. Like, and you can go there and buy it. Like that to me is the coolest effing thing I've ever heard of in my life. So I didn't think it was going to be a reality, but it is. And I, when she's when when Laurel told me, Laurel's like the the big boss there. She's she's super cool. But when she was telling me this, I was just just started laughing. I'm like, no way! Like, don't I don't deserve that? It's so that's so cool. So there will be a distillery only release that's bottled, and it's going to be basically my blend with Steve. Super cool, and I like I can't even. It's one of those things that. I, I heard it's going to happen. They told me it will happen, but I don't know if it will happen. Like, part of me feels like it's too good to be true. Like, it's not meant to happen and it won't happen. But, at, like, they're like, it's going to happen. So, buckle up. And, like, I'm going to be put through the whole process. Like, the friggin' making a new product process. Like, through the, the whole entire thing. So, I'll get to see it all work and I'll see how it happens. And I don't even know. Brian Pulver says it will sell in four minutes. I don't even know. I don't even, like, I know that some of you are crazy enough just to go there, which is incredible. And I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm blown away and I'm super, super happy that that's what's happening. And a company that cool who just sees I'm I'm just a I'm just a guy on the internet, and for that to happen, like I win their contest, and then they they watch my stuff. Laurel, she literally on the on the conference call the other day said the word "schlammered," and I was like, "Wow, you really do watch." And I, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but you do watch, and it's incredible. And I can't I can't thank them enough because it's a super cool opportunity, and like what the heck? I don't even know. But it's going to happen. It's a once-in-a-lifetime like, opportunity. It's a dream come true, and I cannot wait. Kevin Campbell said the same thing. <sighs> All right. That's the big news. That was the big news. That's the big news, and, geez, I can't even feel like, I can't even feel my feet. Is it a heart attack? Probably not. It's probably just the nerves. Matt Porter, world's top bourbon taster and blender. I don't know about that, but at the same time, um, I'm sure that Steve Nally will show me the ropes. And if the product is terrible, super sorry, but I tried and I haven't even touched it yet. Or I don't even know. I don't even know. What if it's really good? What if it's incredible? I don't even know. It'll be incredible. It'll be incredible. I don't, it probably, I don't know. Wild Turkey has Matthew McConaughey and Bartstown has Matt Porter. I feel bad for Wild Turkey, <laughs> Scott Robinson. That's a great, that's great. That's really funny. Okay, I'm going to go through my order here, and then we're going to do the giveaway. The major distilleries won't understand. YouTubers like yourself are more effectively at marketing whiskey than traditional marketing. It's, I mean, 
the, the support, the support gene is insane. I can't even ever, I can't, I can't even put it into words how crazy it is. And it's amazing. So I don't know what, like they, they haven't given me any details. I don't know if it's going to be an all Bardstown blend or if it's going to be like a sourced blend or like a mixture. I have no idea. But all I know is whatever it is, it's exciting. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Thrasher, just screaming my name. Love it. All right. I'm going to do this. We're going to get through the order, and then it will be good. Stop being down on yourself. I mean, JG, I, I'm not trying to be down on myself, but, like, what the heck? Like, it's a lot to live up to, you know? Tim, Matt Laurel, and Steve at Minix Virtual Event. They know who you are for sure. They're fans. It's weird. It's so weird. I love them so much. The people there are super nice. Probably the nicest on the planet. Okay, last place, I think. I think this is last place. Yeah, it's not my favorite land. It's got um very peanutty for some reason. Peanutty and not super exciting. Last place, wow. Not so what the heck? Why would they is probably going to make me look stupid right here. John T., thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, C. Last place is a nutty bugger and goes to letter C. I do like some nutty whiskeys. I do. But a dry, a dry, um, woody, like, that. this one wasn't my jam. Letter C. Where's my book? Letter C. Just one request, no dickle. I don't think that... Oh, well, they do source dickle. They source dickle for their Pfeiffer Pavit stuff, I believe. But, hey, whatever they tell me to do, I'll do it. Then I'll let you know ahead of time. Steve says, I want to grow up to be you, legend. That's silly. All right, C. Let her see. All right. In last place is a nutty bugger and it, it's way in the back so i'm not going to grab it traverse city barrel proof and it was like just under five years old now let me also be very clear here about this they don't traverse city Barrel proof. They don't ever say who they're source like who they're sourcing from. They don't. Um, rumor was that the older labels were MGP. That's why I got put in this in this little skirmish here. That might have been Dickel. It might have been because I don't get that much nuttiness off of MGP. So since they don't disclose, they don't even disclose that it's sourced which weird and unfortunate and why because it's the law you have to do it but they don't that might not even be mgp that might be dickel but it's in last place the traverse city barrel proof is in last place it would be beneficial if they just said where they sourced it from so that people knew what they were getting that's all i'm saying that's all <clears throat> lawrence ramos ADHD Whiskey, so blessed to have great whiskey tubers. You are at the tippity top of them on the entertainment scale. Oh, thank you. I'm about to go tumbling down is what you're about to say. Breaking the law, says Kilko. I don't like that. I don't I don't like I don't like when people source whiskey and then don't disclose it. It doesn't do anything good for them, and it doesn't do anything good. Like, just, just say that it's sourced and which state it's from. And then that's all you have to do. And then we can make our own determination. If it says Tennessee, some people won't buy it. If it says sourced, some people won't buy it. But I know that they're distilling their own stuff now. And what if somebody got something that was sourced that they did not like, but their own distillate is really good? It might turn somebody off from buying their own product because they taste a sourced product that they never, they never said was sourced. That's all I'm saying. 
I do not know. Richie Zini, Richie Zini needs a matte bottle. If that, like, I know that they, like, they said it's going to happen. They're like, it's going to happen. We're going to do it because we see the demand. They watch these and they see the demand and they see the positivity and they know that people will go there for it, which is incredible. And I can't believe it. But if it actually happens, that's the coolest shit in the world. I cannot, I cannot wait. If we actually blend something and it's in the process of, like it's actually in the process of happening, I will be just, I will be over the moon. Incredible. All right. Glass two. I think glass two was in eighth place. Hmm. Glass two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see where I'm going here. Glass two is a bit sour. It's not. You know what? I think glass two might be aged longer. You know what? I think I might. Uh, I don't want to have any guesses. But I think glass two might just have like a really sour oak to it. Like it might have a little bit of extra age on it, but the extra age wasn't a good age. The extra age was like, it tastes like a, like a sour oak, which is not good, unfortunately. I wonder if number two is a single barrel that somebody picked because it was aged longer, which can happen, like Knob Creek picks, but turns out not as good because it wasn't aged longer and good. Now watch me pick something that's four years old for sure. Should a rye bottle be green or purple? Don't give a crap. Keep me guessing is all I got to say. Aaron Blizzard says you have to sign those bottles. Um, that's silly. I would never expect to ever sign a bottle ever. But if, if, if somebody wanted me to, I would never say no. It would just be weird every single time I signed one. Daniel Kerber agreed. Transparency is a key in craft distilleries. I will go out of my way to buy a craft bottle with transparency. For sure. 100%. Like Pingree. Like this Mayor Pingree? The Mayor Pingree seven-year, they it's sourced. They, they tell you it's sourced. Because if you buy their red label, it's going to taste different. It's not going to taste like, like a lower-proof version of that. It's going to taste different because the black label is sourced and blended. The red label is their own distillate. And guess what? Buy it all day. Because they're transparent. They'll tell you. Like, you go into something with expectations. You don't want to jump in there with thinking you're going to get something that's really good and it turns out that wasn't even their stuff. Scroll down. Tim C. Matte Blend is Best Blend. That should be the label name. Best Blend. <laughs> that's funny. It says Best Blend. Eek. All right, scrolling down, scrolling down. We're getting to the bottom. Okay. So, shoot. Was that number two or number five? It must have been number two. Ken, thank you. Ken says, so happy for you. Well deserved. Wow. Oh, I didn't even see what number two was. What the heck is my deal? Number two. I must have moved on. Wait. Okay. Last place was Traverse City. Eighth place goes to number two, which is letter A. And letter A, unfortunately, for letter A is, oh boy. Oh crap. It's Joseph Magnus. Um, Joseph Magnus Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's private barrel of Longhorn liquor. This was a gift. Is there an age on it? 104 proof. I bet you, okay. They don't have an age on it. When I first, when I first tried this, I was not a fan. Like, I thought that it was going to be different. 
but it turned out to be sour and i was like what the heck um shoot yeah i wish there was an age on it so we could i think that they probably picked an older barrel that just was not super delicious and fantastic huh i mean it's not comparatively to the rest of them it's not that great it's still great bourbon though it's still very good bourbon also priced at about a hundred dollars though and for a hundred dollars yikes that's just, that's just a lot of money so eighth was so i'm gonna make a note here uh traverse city was nine and then oh boy where the heck magnus is eight moving along I'll, I'll try to speed it up i'll try to speed it up so that we get the giveaway done i'm super sorry that's taking this long I did, I did not mean for it to take this long because we're two and a half hours in and i'm no bourbon junkie the bourbon junkies can stream for hours and be totally fine i cannot okay i think number five Cheech Arlino says, mod me so I can ban Santa Loves Bourbon. Um, I am honestly, if there's any mod out there that thinks that for any reason that guy should be banned, ban him. I don't care. Like, there's no, if I have to read people wanting to ban somebody for being rude or obnoxious, then I don't want them here. That's not what this is for. Oh, I missed a super chat. We're all here to be cool. That's all I got to say. And Tim C., have you had any Rebbe Emperor? Yes. I had Lost Monarch, which was really good. Um, the Emerald Giant, which I have to go back to, but I remember it being good. How do you feel about them as a blender? Huge fan here, and their labels are the best. Their labels are tremendous, like ridiculous. And I have two videos. I shot a video, I shot a video of the lost monarch and one of the redwood giant and yeah i mentioned the labels on both of them because their labels are super cool but yeah no, super good super super good whiskey i know i know bourbon santa would disagree not the guy in chat but the real bourbon santa but oh no it's not him it's not bourbon santa it's not austin it's Scott, my bourbon journey, Scott. He doesn't like Rebbin Empire. He's like, it sucks. But that's just Scott. Okay, number five. Oh, number five has some nuttiness too. Number five has a bit of nuttiness, but a bit of nuttiness. Is it better than seven? No. Five is next. Five is next, and five is lucky that it's not in eighth place. It's lucky. Okay, number five. So sorry. Oh, geez. Why does my chat keep up? Joe Moody, $15 Super Chat says, <laughs> I love your Super Chat. It's the best. Scroll. <laughs> William Davlar says, bye, Santa. Get rid of his rude ass. Oh, yeah. Get, I mean, if the guy is being rude, honestly, okay. If somebody, okay, moderators, if somebody isn't, this is just general guidelines. If somebody is in chat and they're being obnoxious or rude or have a history of being obnoxious or rude and they continue to do it, just get rid of them. I don't, like, why, why worry about it? Why? There's no point. Will they make another account and come in here? Probably. But just, there's no reason to deal with it. If somebody is being rude to somebody in general, or being a creep or a scumbag or dirty or just not a good person, that's the type of person we don't want. And obviously this person is probably somebody else with an alias who's just here to, just to spam and whatever, but... It's not fun. Who cares? Just get rid of get rid of people like that. And I will never ask you questions. I might ask, hey, what, what happened? 
but I won't. I'll just take if I put if I made you a moderator, I respect your decision making. Unless you're my mom. I might ask you more than a few questions. They would be like, well, my mom would be like, you know what? They said that they don't like New Balance sneakers, and that's all I've ever enjoyed. So I kicked him out. <laughs> Just kidding, Mom. I love you. All right. Number seven, I think, is next. Wait, did I guess? I didn't even say what number five was. I did it again. Number five is letter D. In seventh place is Backbone Bourbon. Mm, not a surprise. Thought that Backbone Bourbon would come in closer. To, okay, so that means Traverse City and Backbone are both four-year MGPs, and they have some nuttiness to them. Some nuttiness. The the Joseph Magnus did not have the nuttiness, but I think it's older. It has to be older for hundred bucks, but it was sour. That's why it got eighth place. Yeah, moderators are fantastic and lovable, and I love them all. Andrew Swallow says, Matt's reaction to Super Chat makes me want to send another Super Chat with random letters to hear him, to hear more random noises. My noises, my noises is the best. Oh, Mom, I'm glad you can take a joke. It's hard. To, it's hard. I just ne I never know which jokes my mom is going to take right. Sometimes she laughs, sometimes she cries. Tim C, $5 Super Chat, I need your opinion on record. The the nose on number seven is good. Why? Is that better than eight? Taste eight. Yes. Seven is better than eight. So eight. Eight is in sixth place. Show. Screw tops are true, are the few, wow, geez. Last week, I could talk. This week, screw tops are the true future stopper, yeah? They're the best regardless of looks. I think they look classic. On record, it's really hard to America a screw top. It just, it's not the same. It's just like... America, it's not the same as like when it pops off. America, like, on the, on the record, on the record, I enjoy I enjoy the cork, even though they break sometimes. Screw tops are they make it feel cheap. They do. Are they better? They might. They might be better for like stuff, but just not for fun. And I like fun. I'm a doctor that likes fun. All right, um, that means eight, number eight. Eight is coming across as a little bit bitter. There is, it's enjoyable. There's some cherry there. This is to the point where it's no longer bad. It's good, but it's it's not as good as the rest. And eight is decent. It's It's likable. It's probably still not super cheap because none of these are. But I do enjoy number eight, but it's a little bit bitter, which is not my not my fan. I'm not a big fan of that. And that goes to letter B. And letter B is Octanium. And I did not see that coming. I literally thought that the I thought that um the really oily one towards towards the front of the pack was gonna be this. And like I said, that one that one was really enjoyable. But coming off of the other ones, there's there's a bit of a bitter note. Now, if you go back to watch my review on Optanium, you'll see how much I enjoyed it. So a flight is weird. Like a flight is totally weird. There are some things, there are some things that are a turnoff. And there are some things that just happen in a blind flight. And it was just a, a bit of a, a little bit of a bitterness. Now let's let's say this. That obtainium bourbon is like 50 bucks. 50, 55, 60, like wherever you get it from, between 50 and 60 bucks. 
Um, it beat out the Backbone Bourbon, which is the same price. It beat out Joseph Magnus Single Barrel, which is double the price. And it beat out Traverse City Barrel Proof, which is 80 to $90. So not a bad placing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be super upset about that. I, I, which is weird because when I reviewed the Optanium Bourbon, the oil in, the oiliness on it was just like was incredible, and I honestly thought that number six or number three was the Optanium. Damn it! It didn't happen tonight, Gene. But if this were rigged, you would have come in second place or first place. But it's not. It's blind, and you came in sixth. Sixth place, which is, I said I liked it. I still like it. Congratulations, Porter. I hope I get a chance to try your blend once it's bottled. Thank you, Brett. I honestly hope. Alec, did you open the, um, did you open the light whiskey? The light whiskey, the Optanium light whiskey and the Polish rye whiskey are crazy. Like, absolutely crazy. Good. So good. Yeah, wise guy whiskey guy says when I blind too long, the flavors start to mix. So that's why when I st when I started, I did I didn't want to, I didn't want to think that they were all similar. Like I was I I put a cutoff. The cutoff was like these are contenders, and these are a little bit less than contenders. Number like the Traverse City one was way out of contention. The Joseph Magnus single barrel was way out of contention. The Backbone Bourbon was peanutty and not great. And then I had the Optanium in uh, fifth place, but then I switched it at the last second and put it in sixth place. So yeah, I, I see what you mean. Like things start to happen and change as you, as you sip through them. So let's find out what I exchanged it for. But first, let me sip number one to make sure number one should be in fifth place. No, one is good. One is good. Seven. I made the right decision. Seven is in fifth place. And seven is letter E. And E is the Belmead. Belmead came in fifth place. On the Bell Mead, there was it was on, it, the the disappointment was on the finish on that one. It wasn't on the pal. The pal was really good, but the finish was a, a little bit drying and a little bit like ethanol forward, which I didn't I didn't get on number one, which is in fourth place, and especially didn't get on the first top three. I'm guessing the smaller yield meant it was a bit more tannic. Um, on which one? The um, on yours, the single barrel. James Minor, Doc Smith's in fifteen year, super good. Give it a swirl, Matt. You rock. Also, got to try some E.H. Taylor Four Grain tonight. Wowza, the Four Grain. I'm a huge fan of the Cured Oak. The Cured Oak is my jam. You should make your mama a mod. I did. I thought I did. Mom, aren't you a mod? What the heck? She better be. I thought I did that already. What stream are we living in? Scrolling up. Scrolling up. She doesn't go to bed until I do, so I better make this quick. Scrolling up. She's a moderator. She is. Son of a bee. Made me go back over there for nothing. Uh, wise guy, whiskey guy. The Bellmead was the the um, cask strength, which is good. It's good. All right, number one. Number one is in fourth place, and fourth place belongs to letter G, and G is Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. Okay. 
which is funny because I used to do battle between Bellmead and Smoke Wagon on Cut, and they go back and forth, which makes sense. Super, super makes sense. All right, let's finish this out. Let me make sure that I got the right one in third place. That's good. And second place. Yeah, this is no doubt. Um, if anything, I might switch third and fourth place. Third and fourth place are very close. Third and second place are not close. So in, I think that the smoke wagon uncut could be in third place. But I put in fourth place tonight. And in third place tonight, I put H. H. And H is the smoke wagon single barrel. Thank you, Thrasher, for that bottle. Super good. They came in third place tonight. A tremendous, tremendous whiskey. All right. That leaves that leaves number six and number nine which is funny because if, let's look at the levels here. All right. Let's look at the levels. Well, you can't. They're in different glasses. Never mind. They're in different glasses, so we can't look at the levels. I only took, I only took one sip of nine. Yes. Uh, I'm going to start with the Super Chat, and we'll get out of here. Please take us out with a verse from your favorite rap song. All right, maybe. Jeez, oh, maybe. It's really hard for my brain. Next emoji is Bev. All right, we'll do, an, we'll do a Bev emoji. Hell yeah, we will. Alex says, when I try to provoke my mom, or your mom, to kick me out, she just ignores me now which kind of hurts more. I just want to be heard. She's, she's, I don't know. She, it's my mom. She ignores, she ignores uh, the people she wants. Do you see my moon back there? My moon. It's a projector. I got my kids for, for Christmas, but I'm using it like a gangster. Robert Faulkner, what are your thoughts on the Joseph Magnus Marie Hill Club? I've never had it. I've only had... Joseph Magnus Single Barrel, which is what I tasted tonight, which unfortunately came in eighth place because thought it would be better. And I've had the Cigar Blend, which is absolutely out of this world. I've never had the Murray Hill Club, though. Never had it. Oh, I'm trying not to miss anything. Daniel Davis, Wu-Tang is forever. Matt, let's hear a verse and hopefully a chorus. All right. Oh my gosh, that that means when okay, I just read this. Where did it go? Ken run here. I'm drinking a Remus, so Remus, Remus, Remus. Love it. It came down to Remus versus Pingree. That's what it came down to. Holy crap. That's funny. Why, whoops, what, oh, shoot, still missing it. Wise Guy Whiskey Guy says, you do great with your mom watching live streams. I would feel awkward. It is awkward, a little bit, because, you know, it is. But at the same time, I love the hell out of my mom. I, I, she, I love her so much. And even though we're not spending time together, like, she's here and watching, and I love that. She's the best. I have the best mom, and I'm super happy that she she never ever she she like never calls me the next day, and she's like, "Hey, um, you think you drink too much?" She just she's like, "I just love watching and hanging out," and she's in everybody's chat. She's in Trev's chat. She's in Klein's chat. I think I saw her in the Mash and Drums chat. She doesn't watch the Bourbon Junkies because they use the F word too much, even though they're the best people on the planet. She doesn't, she doesn't venture that far. 
because of the old F word. And she doesn't like Sean or his attitude or his face. She, she thinks he should be fired. But still, I love her. She's awesome. Um, Andy B., you're a beautiful biatch, and I love you too. Are you doing a stream next week? Absolutely. It just happens. Oh, next Friday is your birthday? Hell yeah. I'm doing it. We gave you a Joseph Magnus special release in a blind. Oh, shoot. Did I like it? I don't remember that. I don't remember it, but I would imagine it was good. Whiskey Crusaders, you're, you guys are still... Yeah, we're about to finish it up. Oh, shoot. I told my wife we'd be done by now. Whiskey Crusaders, Matt, how's it going? All right, let's finish it up. All right, here we go. To be fair, Sean's face, that's funny. All right, the runner-up is number six, which is the letter A. No, the letter I. I underlined the H so I know it was an H. See what I did there? I did it on purpose. The runner-up is letter I. And in first place was number nine, which is letter E F F. The winner of the MGP flight. The winner of the MGP flight is letter F, which is. Can you see it? But I can't see it. No, you can't see it. But it says Pingree. Mayor Pingree is letter F. So that means letter I is George Remus. So Mayor Pingree was, it came out on top and it destroyed. It destroyed, but it was like, it was glass nine. It was the last glass I tasted, um, which I thought it would destroy. So let's put that aside. Let's not even, let's put that aside. That means, that means that George, the, the Remus Repeal Reserve 3 was a really good blend coming out of MGP. And it was better than the rest. And it stood out. It was, it was literally head and shoulders above a lot of these. It was so good. Um, incredible. Incredible and crazy and good. But that Pingree, though. If you guys ever see a Mayor Pingree black label. Black label Mayor Pingree. It is a must buy. Uh, Tommy D, that was Series 3. Series 3. 100 proof. So it was the lowest proof of the bunch and still came in second place. All right, Kerber, we're about to do the giveaway. We will it's 1250. So we will do the giveaway in three minutes. So three more minutes to get in super chats, and then we will we'll close it out. We'll close it out. Steve Connor, five dollar super chat. Thanks, Steve. I have to blend a hitter for friggin'. For Dave, oh my gosh. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail miserably. But hopefully Dan and Julie L's contributions get the bottle back to him so that I don't fail as miserably. Pete Hawking. Hi, Matt. Have you liked all the Cat's Eye products you've had? I was excited to find Uptanium six-year Kentucky whiskey, but disappointed so far. I have never tried their Kentucky whiskey. I have tried... I've the op, okay out of the Optanium products, I've tried their Polish rye whiskey, which was very good. It was finished in port casks, I think. I tried their light whiskey, that was also finished, and I loved it. I can't remember what, what it was finished in. And then I tried the Optanium bourbon whiskey, which was really good, and certainly good for fifty bucks. Like for a fifty to sixty dollar purchase, is really good. And then the the standard Optanium light whiskey, which is a single barrel uh, light whiskey. They, the one I have is 147 proof MGP. It was my number six whiskey of the year. It was that good. Never tried the Kentucky whiskey though, and I don't know exactly what that means or what that is. Like what that is, but so a six year Kentucky whiskey. Wonder what the heck that is. Good question. I'm sure if Gene is still here, he can tell us. Oh, oh, oh boy. Uh, 
Um, oh, geez. Oh, my gosh. What the heck did I just do? I scrolled way too far. Tim C. MGP wins MGP contest. Nailed it. John Reese. Hmm. I might have to pick up that Remus. Oh, if you don't have a Remus, the Remus is incredible. The Remus is so good. Future Man. 9-9 nine, nine, Buster Rhyme. Julie L. $15 super chat. I'm out. Goal tonight was to drink too much. I've excelled. Oh, Julie. Love each of you, except Santa loves bourbon. That guy's a douche. Porter, see you Sunday. Good night, peeps. Good night, Julie. See you Sunday. Have a great day tomorrow, and good night. Thank you for being in here. I know you said it was going to be hard. It was going to be difficult, but um, I'm glad you made it in. Thank you so much. Tommy D, Google Cat's Eye Distillery, and it's next to Pet Cremation Place. Oh, damn. I did not know that. Chris Hudson, can you run down the list from first to last place one more time, please? I'll try. I'll super duper try in one second. Maverick Clark, $5 super chat. Thank you, Maverick Clark, you friggin' Maverick. Hank Butts, I got eight out of nine on Patreon. Just kidding. Yeah, I don't know who won that. We'll find out. Sam B, Octanian Polish Rye is where it's at. It's super good. Super good, Sam. And then William Davilar, great evening, Matt. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, William Davilar. Oh my gosh. $15 from James Meyer. What's your go to $100 to $150 whiskey? I don't have a go-to $100 to $150 whiskey, but let me think about it. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is a $100 whiskey at a $60 price point. So if you can find it for $100, especially the Sea Batch from this year, that's that's it. Um, the Discovery Series from Bardstown, three or four, it fits right in there. It's fantastic. Sam Houston, 14-year, if it's one of the better batches, I'd say fits that. Oh, boy. Um, I, geez. 100 to 150 is weird. I don't I don't live there very much. I just don't. But those, those are a few that would fit that description. Discovery Series from Bardstown is a definite pickup batch. Series 3 or 4, for sure. T. Hutch, great live stream, Matt. Cheers. Thank you, T. Hutch. All right. Down to the bottom, Brian Bales. Jeez Louise, I'm, a, I'm about to get to the rest, like the lineup one last time. Then we're going to do the giveaway, so sorry. Sign me up, World's Top Whiskey Taster. What a good, relatively easy to find home blend to make. Oh, boy. Um, home blend, a good home blend to make. Relatively easy to find. Blend a 15-year Knob Creek store pick. I know those aren't everywhere, but you can find them. Blend an old Knob Creek store pick with uh, like a Redwood Empire American Whiskey Batch 1 or like a, a Redwood Empire, what's it called? The, um, the Lost Monarch. One of those two, for sure. Like heavy on the Knob Creek, light, light on the... Rabbit Empire, I would say. Ken Runyer, five dollars super chat. Enjoy tonight. Can't wait to buy your blend. I can't wait to make it. Okay, hopefully that's into the super chats. Okay, cutting off the super chats, cutting them off. All right. Um, Shane Long, ten dollars super chat. Thank you. That's the end of them. That's the end. You're my spirit animal. Okay, we're done. We're done here for the super chats. So for the giveaway, Daniel Kerber, let me know the let me know the the range for the giveaway, for the old friggin' Mictors. In tenth place, in tenth place was Traverse City Barrel Proof. In ninth place was Joseph Magnus Single Barrel Store Pick. In eighth place was Backbone Bourbon. In seventh place was B. Seventh place was, no, no, sixth place. In ninth place was Traverse City. Eighth place, Joseph Magnus. 
Seventh place, Beck Bone Bourbon. Sixth place, Optanium Bourbon Whiskey. Fifth place was Belmead Cask Strength. Fourth place was Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. Third place was Smoke Wagon Single Barrel. Second place was George Remus Repeal Reserve 3. And first place was Mayor Pingree's 7 year. Black Label. Yeah. Sorry, Hank. I I went back and fixed it because I'm dumb. Earbuds are dying. Oh, no. Okay. Did Daniel cover it? 1 through 228. All right. Let's do it. This is for... This is for the Mictor's Toaster Barrel Rye. And I, I've heard... I've heard that they never pick the first or last number. So I'm going to go 0 through 229. And if it's if they pick 0 or 229, then I'll do it again. But I want to make sure that it's fair. So here we go. Choose a random number between 0 and 229. One thirty nine. Number one thirty nine is the winner of the Mictor's Toaster Barrel. Hot buttery roll says dibs on zero. That's pretty funny, actually. You so funny, hot buttery rolls. Also, if you're the winner. Email me tonight with your shipping. I mean, your home delivery, home drop-off address, and it will get hand-delivered tomorrow. Congrats, Time Evans. The heck? Tim C., Tim C., are you still in chat? Congrats, Tim C. AB Cigar Alec, you weren't you were not in here. You were not in here earlier. It's a whole to-do, it's a whole thing. But never mind. You forget about it, Alec. Tim Evans always wins. That's funny. Tim C, are you in chat? Tim C, you need email me tonight. Let me put my email address. Because if you email me tonight, then I will have it hand delivered to you. I will have the process of it being hand delivered to you begin tomorrow. Because on Sunday I'm leaving. And then it would be two weeks. So Tim C. Email me tonight or tomorrow morning at this email address. There. Email me there, and then we will get on it. Like, for show. Like, real quick. It's already here. Look at it. Look at it. It's ready to go. It just needs a... It just needs... I just need to write where it's going right there. And then it'll be hand-delivered. He's not here. Son of a bitch. Hopefully Tim C sees this. Otherwise, Tim C won't see this until a couple weeks. JG, I'm now 51. Happy birthday, JG. 877 cash now. Hell yeah. Hey, oh, oh, Ben Demon Hunters in chat. Hey, Ben. All right. We one more hour. Yeah, right. If I did one more hour, I would have one last wife for sure. And she, yeah, that's not going to happen. Tim C is here. Tim C, you gangster from Timville. Tim, email me tonight your address where this should be hand-delivered to you. And then tomorrow morning, 
I will hand it off to my courier who will hand deliver it to you. Because if you don't do that, then it's going to be a couple weeks. So do it. Freaking do it. Congrats. And Dave, Dave Ross or Ross or Dave friggin' R, you're the man for for the trade because it's crazy. I will, I'll blend you the best thing I can blend. And I'll sign it and seal it and hopefully it delivers, if you know what I mean. Tim C is in chat and he says he's amazing you now. Thrasher's just wasted. <laughs> Schlammered. Thrasher's schlammered. Tim C's in chat and he says he's amazing you now. I'm amazing him now because he's amazing. I love you, old man Joe, so much. Dave, you're the best, dude. You're the best, Dave, and I hope I hope that whatever I do is good enough. It'll be interesting. Tim C is one of the local guys. Great guy. Definitely deserves a win. Awesome. Hell yes. Tommy D says, good night. Enjoy the vacation. Absolutely. We, we're calling it a night. We, we are over three hours deep, and that was about an hour longer than I planned. But at the same time, it's totally fine. Over 200 in chat still at the bitter end. I love each and every one of you so much. And I'm so excited to go on this journey with you. And I'm so excited to break super exciting news to you. Tonight was a cool night. It was an awesome night. Um, the reason that I did a flight this big was because I'm trying to learn shit. You watch these spirits competitions where like professional tasters go through so much. Some of them spit, some of them don't. But at the same time, I'm learning to eliminate things right away. So tonight, I'm like, am I a little bit past where I would like to be as far as like, you know, yeah, a little bit. But I have so many ounces of whiskey left because I eliminated all these. I, I'm learning to taste like a professional taster would taste, I think. And if I'm not, then I'm just stupid. But it was fun. It was super fun, and I, I nailed it. The Pingree deserved to win. It did. The Traverse City deserved to lose. It did. And the, the other stuff in the middle, who knows? Different nights, probably different outcomes. But I feel pretty good about it. That's all. That's all. It was fun. Good night. Love you all. Check the Patreon contest, Thrasher. I will. I want to find out who nailed it and who didn't. <sighs> All right. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my enlarged heart. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. I will see you next week from friggin' Florida. Hells yes. From the home that belongs to a very likable family. And I will see you next week at 10 p.m. Same time, same channel, same same rap time, same rap channel. Oh, shoot. How does that Eminem song go? I was about to do it, and I can't remember it. But I'm going to bail. Hot buttery rolls are the best, and you're so skinny. <sighs> Head in the clouds. Mind on going to bed 36 minutes after you're... You told your wife you'd be in bed. That's a bad idea. We're going to work on it. Good night, everybody. Love you all.